Hello, him hoy. Welcome to the stream. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I'm sorry I didn't stream yesterday. I haven't been feeling very good all week. But I'm starting to feel a little better. Just a... You know, stress of school is getting to me. Just a, just a little bit. I know that's what it is. Him hoy, hello. So, because I couldn't stream yesterday, I have arranged an assortment of video games. Not just backpack battles, although that will come later. John! Gift flower. For me? Welcome back to the crew. Thank you for the flower and eight months. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Captain, wishing you comfort and happiness. Although, you too. You too. Wishing the amigos all the comfort and happiness in the world. Hola. <laughs> Hola. Hello. I'm very excited for today because yesterday, although I was resting, I was also just poking around Steam, and I found some weird games I think you guys would enjoy. Or at least I would enjoy, and hopefully by proxy you would enjoy. <laughs> they look strange, they look funny, Um, they were all titled as horror, but we'll see about that. I don't think I'll easily be scared today. I've also been <laughs> I've also been getting really frustrated at Dragon's Dogma 2, which is also what I did yesterday. That was my rest is what Do you know what I've discovered they've been doing? In the original game, enemies had set placements on the map, so it was there there was areas that were really difficult that you couldn't accidentally just wander into because you'd die like immediately. But in Dragon's Dogma 2, it seems like some of the encounters are randomized. I've had goblins pop in right in front of me. I have been on the ox cart only to be assaulted by a ogre, a minotaur, a pack of goblins, and a pack of wolves all at the same time. I'm like, whoa, I can't get a break. It's so fun being a hot elf bitch with my assassin girlfriend. In, 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 in drag. Oh, Divinity! <laughs> Sorry, brain leg. Divinity 2 is a very good game. I love Divinity 2. I love it so much. It's up there with Baldur's Gate 3 for sure. And if you like Divinity 2, when you're done with that, it's gonna take you hundreds of hours probably if you get really into it. But yeah, if, if, if you haven't played Baldur's Gate 3, it's got, it's got that same energy. That same, like, it's a similar combat style. You can get really into it as well. Oh, hem hoy, hello! Hello, hello. Yeah, so I've just been frustrated because I've been assailed by enemy after enemy and that didn't happen in Dragon's Dogma. I don't remember that. It's weird. I wonder if they should... I don't know. Maybe they should tone that down a little bit. Maybe I'm just bad. Maybe I'm bad now. Hem hoy, hello! Hello, hello. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, if you're digging Divinity 2, you're gonna go pog crazy for Baldur's Gate 3. And I'm sure it's gonna go on sale very soon, because it's been out for a little bit. You got all the time in the world to wait around. That's what I usually do for video games nowadays. Like, um, I've been wanting to play Sons of the Forest, because I really like the forest. I've just been waiting for a sale. <laughs> hello, hello, welcome, welcome everybody. Hope you're having a great Sunday. Yeah, thank you for the lurk. I really appreciate it. Okay, you ready to get into our first game of the day? This one's called Rental. Good luck trying to find it by Googling it because you're just going to find apartments in your area if you try that. <laughs> but this was titled as like a little Animal Crossing adorable game. I'm sure that nothing weird will happen. A wink wonk. What's this game about? Um, I think you're a little Animal Crossing guy moving to a new town. I think. I guess we'll see for certain. Emily, hello, hello. I know even if I buy a new game, I probably will put it off for a few months anyway. I know, I know, we probably all have really big Steam libraries, and I'm sure that we've all started games and just not finished them. That's why I usually put off games, because I'm like, oh, I, I purchased this game, but like also I haven't finished these three other games I started. So I try to finish them, and then by the time I get to the game I just purchased, it's been months, like you said. Emily, hello! Okay, what I'm about to say next is a joke, so please take it like one. 
All right, I am now prepared to get it twisted. Go on. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. Maybe I won't take it as a joke. I'm, I'm planning on taking it personally. I'm already offended. I'm pre-fended. <laughs> well, I hope you're having a good day. Hello, ham hoy. Howdy, amigos. Welcome aboard. You're playing the first hour of Neo 2 and being like, eh, maybe later. <laughs> I'm so bad with that. I've tried to be better recently. I'm still really bad. <laughs> Captain Chia, this is the Treasury Department. I'm here to inspect your booty. Please present the booty. Hey, hey, I'm the captain around here. You're supposed to bring me booty, and maybe I'll give you a cut. <laughs> the Treasury Department? Never heard of it. <laughs> Do we need games to play? Like, unfinished homework you'd like to do? Yeah, exactly, exactly, Debbie, exactly. Veronica, him, hoy. Me, our captain, have a wonderful stream. Oh, I hope you have a wonderful day, Veronica. Chia booty? What? Where? Where is she hiding it? I'm gonna be like Captain Gold Rogers. I'm gonna send my chat out on a mission. You know, that would be really fun. If I just... What if somewhere in the world, like a geocache... Before I pass away, I just bury a bunch of gold. Like, you can't take your money with you when you die. What if I just bury a bunch of, like... <gasps> a bunch of gold? No. Gold coins. That's very me. Just a bunch... I'm gonna bury a bunch of gold coins. And I'm gonna send you all out on a treasure hunt. To find the one piece... I wanted to make you laugh. Aww. Yeah, you always make me laugh. What? <laughs> the Chia piece is real. It's real. Yeah, don't worry, amigos. You always make me laugh. Always. <laughs> I like seeing your funny faces. Now, the question is, is this a controller game? Huh? Okay. Seems to be. Hiding one piece of chia like a bone or anything? <gasps> that would be- that would be pretty metal. What if I hid- What if I hid, like, my skull? Like, uh, I give my relatives permission to just, like, bury my skull somewhere and, like, people have to find it. And then whoever finds it has to crush it. Just like, um, you know, we're circling back to the mods- Crush his skull joke that's been on this channel for probably over a year now. Is she a skeleton? Yeah, it'll just be me clutching the booty. You'd have to pry for my cold, dead hands. Is that morbid? Is, is that a little morbid? Perhaps. But, you know, we haven't found the cure to death yet. I suppose, um... I don't know if we ever will. Not unless we are- we become lobsters or something. Tochia or not Tochia? Yeah, but it's also funny. Yeah, the gallows humor. My mom always said that I have the gallows humor. Nurse's humor. I went through something- I went through a really dark time in my life, as, as most of us do. And, um, I, w I had dinner with my brother after this had happened, and I made a really- in hindsight, messed up joke about what I had been through, and I start laughing, and then I I look at him and I see he's like deadpan. I'm like, uh oh, and he said, "Chia, that's fucked up." <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. Sometimes I deal with, with problems with laughter. It's just me. It's just me. We all cope differently. Anyways, yeah, I'm born with the gallows humor. <laughs> suppose that's why I like spooky games. I like to find the humor within the spookiness. It's there to be found, you just need to- we need to laugh at ourselves. It's good to laugh at yourself. Cause what, what- what- What's life worth if you can't just, like, have a bit of fun, right? What if they discover Chia bones and clone her? My bones? No, not my bones. Don't clone my bones. 
Do you think you could handle more of me? Like, go ahead, clone me. You gotta deal with the consequences. <laughs> Trauma red as she has laughter. Yeah, anyone, just a warning, and probably why I don't get a lot of trauma dumpers. I will laugh, and I apologize. <laughs> I will turn it into a bit, including my own. <clears throat> oh no, Marchia. Uh-oh. 100k seeds to clone Chia. That's a, that's a steep price. I let you do it for free. Okay, let's go in. Let's move into our new little town. Wow, this imagery definitely isn't already evocative of... something. Hopefully the volume's good and not too loud. I'll be prepared. A little bit loud. There we go. What a nice little menu. Whenever I see a vehicle driving through a forest, I just think of The Shining. It'll always be evocative of The Shining. Dealing with problems with laughter because if it won't solve itself, it might as well make it so funny. Exactly! Exactly! Now, not everybody deals with problems and trauma and stuff the same way. So it's okay if you don't laugh. But that's just me. Hello, Yo, Faith looks weird. Yeah, we, it got a 3D update. The party fan. I saw a party bus. I saw a, a party bus? Is that what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I saw a party bus once when I was in Greece. I was just walking around. I, I, I was like in the middle of nowhere on one of those Greek islands that nobody goes to. And then just a bus drives past and like there was some weird lights and a bunch of topless ladies inside. I was like, huh? Is that a party bus? It came and went so quickly. I didn't even have time to process it. <laughs> but I, I did see some, some tatas out there in the wild. I was stressed with The Shining since the start. It was making me mad. Yeah, it is a really stressful movie. Very well done. And she immediately wished she was on that bus. No, 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 I was having, I was having a good time just partying by myself. <laughs> they didn't even stop for me anyway. Finished with my cat's IV drip so I could officially hem hoy hem hoy! Oh, kitty's on an IV drip. We have an old man cat and sometimes he needs to go to the vet to get a... Uh, Hydration injection? Although injection is the wrong word, it's like a syringe that they that the that the vet just like deep throats into his mouth and he's forced to intake liquid so he doesn't dehydrate. Turns out that cats, because they evolved from desert mammals, don't really feel thirst the same ways that we do. Like they don't get thirsty. They don't feel thirst so that they can cope with longer periods of being thirsty. So those stupid little goober idiots forget to drink water sometimes, especially the older they get. Hey, holy! And that's why you gotta give them wet food so they can get hydration, but also sometimes they just gotta be injected with some hydration. It's for his kidneys, thankfully. Only in early stage. Oh, I'm glad to hear that it's early. Although I'm not glad to hear that his kidneys aren't doing so good. Society has so many rules, yet there's always a bus driving around where people have their tatas out. <laughs> yeah, think about that. Think about it. <sighs> Thank you for the hydration, it's a duck. I am actually rather thirsty. Silly little instincts causing silly little problems. Yeah, and that's why cold makes them so irritated as well. I live in Canada, so during the winter, the cats all start to, like, they get angry. They get really just grumpy all the time. They'll start, like, swatting at each other more, hissing at each other more during the winter. I want to ride on the Tata bus. <laughs> well, all right. Well, you're looking at it. Come on. Let's, let's get on that Tata bus. Let's go for a ride. Let's go. 
Where the Tata's at? Oh my god, I'm so cute! Look at me, a little guy. Looking for some Tata's. Have you seen them? What do you think, Goombi? It's not too shabby. Child? Did you want to play with me? No. <laughs> the door's open. Could the rental man already be here? Well, let's check it. The door? Where's the door? Let's rent it out. Yeah. And then I rent all over the place. No, I'm not asking my dad to get his tatas out, chat. <laughs> Noticing a distinct lack of tatas right now? Okay, okay, I'll get you. I will find them. I'm sure they're around here somewhere. Maybe they're hiding under the bed or something. Or in a closet. Who closed the door? Hey, open up! But I'm the one inside. It won't open? Oh. I should find that dental. Rental. Rental man. Sorry, I'm senile. You're gonna have to forgive me. Hello? Gift wave boy, Captain. Amhoy! Hey, Welcome back to the crew, Pody. Almost made it a dang year. Thank you, thank you. I know I'm not 3D, but I'm leaving. Right back at you. I'm waving in my heart of hearts. Is this a horror game? Oh, no, it's, it's Animal Crossing. It's just it's just like Animal Crossing. The rental man. A gentleman. <laughs> yeah, left I left my tatas in my other pair of pants. That's yeah. My family always walks in after I say the worst things imaginable. They don't even question it anymore. Oh, she is talking about tatas again. I'm ticket for the tata bus. Okay, okay. Well, uh, moving on before I get caught saying incriminating things once again in front of my family. <laughs> tata Sunday. That okay, 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 chat. I should find that dental rental rental man. I'm still looking for the rental man. Is he here? No. I'm so cute. This bunny looks like Ruby from Animal Crossing. That's one of my favorite villagers. Hello, dental man. Is he over here? Bunny, where are your house shoes? <laughs> I'm a rabbit, I don't need to wear shoes. That's what the paw pads are for. She's family waiting for Chia to mention tatas before walking in. Yeah, they just stand outside my door and wait for me to say like, penis or titty. Is that a Jeebus? Wow. This is just like my friend's grandma's cabin. Oh, are you the rental man? You look just like my dad. <laughs> oh, hello. You've already been incriminating. Go to the brig. No, wait, no. You can't brig your own captain. Who's gonna steer the ship? Well, who's driving? You. Did you come from the outside? I've been trapped here for weeks, months. I don't even know anymore. Uh, I need to get the keys. My parents are... Forget about your parents. You'll never see them again anyway. Unless... Unless what? You'll have to perform a ritual to exorcise this cursed place. Yes, that's it. I can't do it myself, of course. I'm just some helpless rental man. Bro, I'm a child! But you, you're a little girl. Who else could do it better? Excuse me? I... You just need to find the artifacts. It's, um, let me see. Six crosses. 
It sounds like he just made that. He's making this up on the spot. A woman behind bars. Some angry men. No, not me. Three candles. And then... Oh. Whoa. Wait. I think you should know. There appears to be a secret room somewhere in here. I don't know how to summon it. But some of the stuff is probably there. No, this no. new Animal Crossing DLC looks really cute and definitely not a low-poly horror nightmare game, Key of Yeah, Pop. yeah, we're just... It, it seems like it's just a little bug that we ran into already. I'm sure we'll get out of here in no time. Sure, it's nothing to worry about. Thank you so much for the Prime subscription and almost two dang years on board this ship. Hope you're doing well, Noodle. Dolo. Hey, Chia. It's my birthday tomorrow and I won't be able to come to the stream. Can Aww. you sing happy birthday in the most legal, distinct, and off-key way possible? <laughs> How about we go back to the tried and true Monster Rancher birthday song? Thank you for the biddies, by the way. And it, on, on your birthday, I guess a day before your birthday, you heard her. Yeah. All right, crew, gather round. Gotta sing this hammy a birthday song. Happy birthday, happy birthday, da dolo, also called Helen. I hope you have a good birthday and grow big and strong so you can fight those monsters. <laughs> or whatever you're gonna do on your birthday. Hopefully you don't get into any fights. I actually take that last part back. <laughs> and if you do, I hope you win. You gotta pull out the it's my birthday so I win automatically card. Yeah, happy birthday! How old are you turning if you don't mind sharing? You do, you're not legally obliged to even answer that. Also, don't answer with the joke. Twitch will just, like, immediately sense when you are... When you're trying to do that. You're gonna spend, like, a week trying to get your account back. Turning 28! Oh, congrats! You're almost a hag! Well, you might already have hag energy, but you're almost the official hag age. Although it comes early to some of us. Shoop. Frank! Welcome back to the crew! Thank you as well for 22 months! We got some old heads here. Thank you kindly, everybody. And uh, thank you, thank you for kicking off the hype train. Oh my goodness, I just realized. You're too kind. It ain't even my birthday. <laughs> Yeah, it starts with the creaky bones. That's true. Your knees start popping, your hips start popping. You might accumulate a back problem or two. It's a state of mind. <laughs> yeah, it is a state of mind. As I said to Avi, it's not just about age. It's about... It's about experience. Which comes with age. I don't know, my back is fine. Why don't you come over here and I'll... Um, I, I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know what I'm cooking. I'm, um, I take it, I take it back. Forget I said anything. Yeah, no, I, I didn't, no, I, you must have heard something weird. That's not Frank, that's Hot Dog Boy. Oh my god, you're right. Hot Dog Boy, another hot dog, please. Whenever people say I'm too young to confirm with the plat, conform with the platform's legal requirements and are put, and are put, Back into containment where they belong. Yeah, exactly. They get put in containment. Even if you joke, you get put in containment. Didn't think that far ahead. I never do. Truthfully. I never think that far ahead. <laughs> what are you gonna do to me? Um. I, I, well, I'll give you a little bit of chiropractic as a trained professional if you do accumulate any back problems. Don't call my bluff, don't- please don't call my bluff, please don't call my bluff, please don't call my bluff. It's about experience, experience and back pain. <laughs> that's how you know, that's how you know you're a hag. It's about experience and back pain. Pile driver, I'm gonna pile driver this chatter. We'll see, maybe next convention. I don't know how to summon it, but some of the stuff is probably there. Good luck! Uh? Uh? 
Nothing here. It's like a good place to hide. Wait, hide? Uh, what? I wish I could sleep on this big bed. I keep hearing things. Okay, that's just me interacting with an object. I thought something was like moving outside. I was getting a little freaked out, honestly, but you know, this isn't supposed to be a scary game. It's just an Animal Crossing like. I don't know what's rustling my jimmies so much. I wonder if the 90DF is on. But the TV looks kind of fuzzy. H hide? What do they mean by this? There's something in the drawer. Found a key. Here, that's gonna come in handy. Oh. Okay, that's just how we leave. What's over? Is this a bathroom? I can't reach the cupboard. Too- I'm too short. Too vertically challenged. Could I trade mine for a German suplex? I don't know what that is, but... Yeah, sure, I'll learn some wrestling moves for the next, um, con I go to. Okay, everyone go to Yumicon for the, your promised Chia Paul driver. <laughs> Is this allowed? I don't think I'd be allowed to actually physically get violent with anyone at a convention. Even if they literally asked for it. Pretty sure we're all gonna get kicked out. I'd rather not. <laughs> Me looking at the toilet. Oh, gotta wash my hands. I really rather not. I saw a cross over here. Don't know if I can. Heh. This one was easy. Found cross. I'm about to get cross. Okay, this just goes in a loopy loop. About it, Chia, with the blue thunder bomb. What the heck is that? What does that even mean? If security tries to throw you out, I'll show them my. Consent form. <laughs> I think there's a point where not even a, a official document would be able to prevent security from tossing us out. But I might be able to get away with it on the account of me being a cute little guy. You can get away with a lot of things when you're just a cute little guy about it. It's not the time to take a nap. Now this guy looks angry enough. That- that probably is one of the angriest G's I have ever seen. Actually, he was kind of doing the, like, the Chad face, you know, like the raised eyebrow, one raised eyebrow, but look at, like, mewing, mewing face as well. The window looks kind of low budget. <laughs> what an interesting comment. You can't throw a big many to get my bones crushed. Still waiting for a chatter to, like, send me their skull when they pass away so that I can crush it on stream. Not the time to take a nap. You know, when I was at Yumicon, Beko kept, like, grabbing me and trying to pick me up. And I would have been more upset, except for the fact that she actually did end up by making my back feel better. Like, my back had been hurting, like, the whole convention. Probably because of the flight and stuff, and then she picks me up one day, and I hear, like, this weird snap pop. And then suddenly I feel better. I'm like, whoa. You fixed me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just gotta get someone to throw your back out for you. That's so sweet. She didn't do it on purpose, I want you to know. But she did, she did do it a few times, and it did feel good. Yeah, very Becco. She did pick me up as well while we were walking through the streets of Detroit at night. And um, I yelled that she was kidnapping me and I did get a couple of weird looks, but nobody came to my rescue. So like if she was actually kidnapping me, I would have been in trouble. Thank goodness Becca wasn't actually a human trafficker, which is what my mother was worried about. My mother gets so worried about me be meeting people online. I'm like, it's a convention. Everyone is online. Everyone I meet is gonna have a- they're gonna have to have been online. Just some clothes my dad would wear. Dad clothes. Nothing in this room. Are, are, are we sure? Nothing? 
What's this? There's a man, but he doesn't look angry. There's a woman, but she's not behind bars. There's some ugly kid, too. <laughs> wow. So rude, little bunny, but also so true. You ever see the um, uh, Byz Byzantine and that era depictions of Jesus? They couldn't make him look like a little baby, because to be a little baby infant was to be, like, stupid, and Jesus is wise. So they drew him like like a little sized down man. So you have like the body of a baby, but then like the face of a full ass man. Oh, cute necklace. Incredible style. Use key, close, close. Oh, a cross thingy. Okay, that opened that. Not the time to take a nap. Yeah, he's got some man face for sure, for sure. It's freaked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, the reasoning behind sounds solid, but then the outcome of, the, of like, a baby with a full-grown human man face is freaky. Uh, I don't feel so well. Ooh. No problem here. What about... What about the fridge? Is there anything to eat? Guess not. Here? Looks like some old cups and dishes up there. But I can't reach the cupboard. Poor cheers, huh? My little brother should eat outside. <laughs> Gotta take some pot shots at the younger sibling. You know how it is. Yeah, maybe I'm in, in immense danger right here, but like I, I also gotta take time, yeah, to swing at my little brother. No problem here. As a little brother, come on, man. As an older sister to a little brother, uh, based. <laughs> Table is floating. Fair enough. Uh, this texture looks so meaty. There's always stuff between the cushions. <gasps> Found a candle! Oh, what is happening? What is happening? Oh. Some random woman with a baby. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. Guess I have to find the stuff. What's in here? Oh! <laughs> yeah, wanna take a... You wanna relax on the meat seat? Together? Push his fingers together. Oh, him, hoy, hello? This baby was born 3,000 years old. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yellow baby man. Found two candles. Nice. Okay, I've been in there. I've been in here. I've been in here. That's the bathroom. Oh, oh my god, what's that? I've got some, uh, I got some business to do in this room over here. Um, I don't, I don't really want to go over there, but I've checked. I've checked all the other rooms, and I might not have much of a choice. One behind bars. Great taste and decoration. And precisely what I needed. So. How many? I got two crosses, three candles, a woman behind bars, the angry man, and now I need to summon the special room! Huh. Must have been the wind. <laughs> I just realized this uh, bunny child is wearing a cross. She's wearing a rosary and she sees a picture of, like, Jesus and she's like, Who the hell is this? <laughs> Who the hell? 
I swear it's getting more frequent. Um, am I timed? Oh, what do I do? Maybe this has something to do with the weird extra room. Uh, some ugly looking kid. No idea who, got, who that could be. Was she wearing that before you found the necklace? Oh, yeah, you're right. I did find a necklace. And I did get an achievement for finding it. You're right, you're right. She picked it up. She's like, oh, pretty necklace. Um. Hello. Weird man, can uh, I wonder where he went. This bunny is so dead. No, it's just a little Animal Crossing game. It's fine. It's chill. A bit glitchy. That's all. I can't reach the cupboard. Can someone give me uppies? Oh, wait. There's something in the corner. Hell yeah, the wooden stool. Huh. Nothing in the cupboard. Um, there was some other high place as well that I needed to get to. I think it was in the kitchen. Aha! Uh -huh. Was it here? Use the wooden stool to reach the cupboard. I also would have just dragged over a chair. Oh, there's some cross object here. Ah, some sort of crossular object. Some weird pictures of a guy with a beard. Curious. Okay. We heard a piano key, so I assume that means that something has happened. Perhaps the extra room that we're supposed to find? Oh. Secret room. I... Uh... Oh my goodness. We got the, the dune... Wait. Is that me? Ah! Hello! <laughs> Hi, chat! <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. In a labyrinth of mirrors, I see. Face reveal, I am a bunny. Surely nothing is going to chase me through the labyrinth. Is this one of them SCP games? No, it's a little Animal Crossing like, although I seem to have found myself in the back rooms. <laughs> hi, hi, hello, hi. like looking in a mirror so do you ever accidentally jump scare yourself in the mirror like you you don't expect a mirror to be there and then you see like a moving shadow and you look over you're like there's a person and then you realize oh wait that's me oh only two left who lived in the labyrinth Pirate hamster was only pretending. Pirate hamster was a ban a banani to this a ba a banani this whole time. Why did I say it like that? What is wrong with me? I mean, play it off, Chia. Um, you're you're a stupid anime woman. They find that stuff cute. Say so you did it on purpose, and nobody will know. Banana confirmed. No, whenever I look in the mirror, it breaks. <laughs> okay. Not horrifying in the slightest. Oh. Eh. I can go that way. Or I could go that way. A banani. A resident of the animal monastery. Been down to the bananary. She played us for fools. Made us think she's a tiny hamster eating seeds when she's really small banani eating slightly larger seeds. Oh, um, according to, um... Uh, Wikipedia, bananis aren't actually rodents. Or so I've been told. I never actually looked it up. It's just you guys that tell me that. 
Whenever I say a banana is rodent adjacent, there's always someone who's like, er, um, actually, it's a completely different creature. A dead end. They're legomorphs. What the hell is a legomorph? Is that like an alien? Yeah, we're talking about bananis. Did you know that they're not, in fact, rodents? This way. Let's try the other path. You're actually very lucky I'm a hamster, and I'm great at solving mazes. Like, I'm, I'm fantastic at making my way through mazes. Oh, across! I was born to do this. Only one left. Legomorph just means a rabbit shaped. What a cop out category. Really? It it just means rabbit shaped? Ah, uh, yes, this banani is rather banani shaped. That's so stupid. Who let biologists name things? <laughs> the names are either just like boring as shit or boring as shit. Let me name some stuff. I'm gonna call a, I'm gonna call this creature here. Instead of a Legomorph, this is now a a, a Floompy. That's the door out of here. There's one more cross in here somewhere. Is it the door out of here? Okay, we gotta find that extra cross. I might backtrack. I didn't see another cross, I, unless I'm blind. By the way, all you need to name a species is to find a new one. Oh yeah, yeah, no problem. I'm sure I can find a new species. If I just go on a walk in the woods or something. Me looking at a... <laughs> Me looking at a squirrel going, wow, a new creature. I'm gonna call this a kerflungle. Chia just, um, actually to us about rodents. Did I, though? I keep getting, um, actually -ed. Um, hi, hello. I hope you're having a good day as well. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I, I had a really restful day. I was getting really irate at Dragon's Dogma, too. Like, I, I was getting furious. Like, I'd never been enraged by a video game like I had with Dragon's Dogma 2 yesterday. <laughs> like, I, for the first time in a while, I alt f forward and I walked away. Oh. Hello, chat. Oh. Hello, chat. Hmm. That bad? Was it the performance? Uh, I just ranted about it at the very beginning of the stream, but those of you that missed that very specific rant in the, like, the first five minutes... Oh, the original Dragon's Dogma had placed enemies, so it, you knew where everything was. You could prepare, you knew where the dragons were going to be, you knew that, oh, the mountains, that's where, that's where the ogres live. Stuff like that. I was taking the ox cart from, like... One of the starting towns to one of the um, starting cities. And I got attacked by a minotaur and an ogre, a pack of wolves, and a pack of goblins all at the same time. Like, it's the random encounters are crazy. I felt like I was going insane. Like, it kept happening too. I had goblins popping out of nowhere, popping right in front of me. What the heck? I know! Yeah, it, it does, in fact, have actual dragons. Just, spoiler alert, Dragon's Dogma has dragons. Sorry, should have should have said spoiler alert before I spoiled it. It feels excessive. Oh yeah, no, it was crazy. Like, I kept, it, I had a save point just before that happened as well, just before the run-in. And it just kept happening, and I was like, this is my life now. It's just... Wandering around this labyrinth and then getting assaulted by a minotaur, an ogre, a pack of wolves, a pack of goblins all at the same time. Oh, and some thieves got involved and then the guards of the ox cart started attacking me for some reason. Oh my god, the last cross. 
Are there any dogs? Uh, there's wolves. <laughs> I don't know about like regular doggos, as the millennials would say. Wouldn't know. I don't play games. Don't play games with me, chat. Don't play games. That was a sneaky cross. Okay, let's find our way out of here. I heard about your oblivion streams and thought that sort of chaos sounded fun. <laughs> yeah, it was really chaotic. It was the, dare I say, the opposite of fun. Ah, this is the dead end. Okay, we'll just backtrack. Being in first person in this game is like a little bit discombobulating with the mirrors and stuff. Thank goodness I can't sprint or I would actually throw up. <laughs> yeah, in Dragon's Dogma they put in the pre-built randomizer. I was also in the ox cart and I got attacked by a griffin, which made sense, but then I, like, I used a lot of my really good items on it and then it, that bozo just flew away. That bitch just took off. I'm like, we're fighting here. You can't leave. I almost killed you. Anyways, that that wasn't the game's fault. That was, like, the AI working as intended for once. <laughs> Frustrating in a different way. I'm like, my ass is not tracking that thing down. <laughs> yeah, where's your honor, Griffin? Where's your honor? I'm sure it's discombobulating on purpose. Oh yeah, for sure. What's more discombobulating than a maze? A maze with a bunch of mirrors. Okay, yeah. I recognize where we are now. Surprisingly enough. We're almost there. We almost wrapped around. This way. To be fair, every time I've almost been killed, I've also just flown off. If I had wings, I'd also just fly away. No, wait. Is this the dead end again? Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we are. I almost missed the dang door. The door is open. Huh? Staring at a bunch of rocks. Chat, you seeing this? <laughs> you guys seeing this? I don't think I'm in my house anymore. What? I think I'm setting up the ritual? I am. Alright, let's place these objects around in a circle. Looks like I can perform the ritual here. I should place all the stuff I have in a circle. Yeah, where is the rental guy? Am I missing something? This looks like the- may maybe that isn't a gap. Let's do a little lap again. Aha! Otter, welcome back to the crew. Kick some unicorn less than Chia. Kick some unicorn? I don't know, that doesn't sound very nice. <laughs> Why are you all glowy? It's my skincare routine. You gotta chemical burn your skin off according to TikTok and then you'll get that smooth as a baby's bottom look. That youthful shine. Looks like I can perform the ritual here. Okay, everything is placed. What should I even say? That useless man just disappeared on me. Useless, useless. Okay, here goes nothing. Pirica, Pirilala, Poparina, Pepperuto.
well. Can't believe that actually worked. Lower Mipsum, uh, hello, Earth to Umi. That's. Seems like the rental man is not here yet. Might as well unpack what we can. Dots. Oh, never mind. The door is open. Could you go check? I don't think we should go inside the house. <laughs> Got some bad vibes. Yay, that was a rental! <laughs> Short and sweet, right? This is why I got a little selection. Yeah, base banani. Sometimes you just get some bad vibes. It was like Final Destination style, like I had a premonition. If you drink the contents of one glow stick and rub ground up glass with a shot of tequila on your cheeks every morning, you can have a glow up like me. Wow, that's insane. That's actually crazy. That's actually really probably very bad for you. A little bite-sized thing of a bot. Yeah, it's just a little, a little free game on Steam. I found. Yeah, it's a selection today. Cause we couldn't do Sloppy Saturday yesterday. Then we're gonna end it all off with backpack battles. But yeah, that was rental. Little banani. Little Animal Crossing game, right? So sweet and wholesome, and nothing at all weird about it. All right, I'm switching games. What's next, you ask? Why don't I show you? Why tell you when I can just show you? Just gotta make sure that the... Yeah, don't go in the system sound. Go, there we go. Okay, that's starting up. Final line, exquisite. Nailed the delivery. Oh yeah, for sure. I love short and sweet games. The more mature I get in age, the more I just like short, sweet games that I can finish in like an hour. You ever heard of Yuppie Psycho? I've heard of it. I haven't played it though. Time for Othello, the extraction shooter. Oh god, oh geez, extraction shooter. Those stress me out so much. Okay, next game. Let me just change the which category. Oh, my computers are rattling. All right, we're gonna find out how. We're gonna find out how fish is made. Having a bit of a learning experience stream today. You ever wonder? You ever wonder how fish is made? I have. Did you ever hear about how eels procreate? It's still a bit of a mystery, but it's... It's alleged that when the moon is just so, all the eels squirm out to the middle of the ocean and create a giant eel ball. Where they all ride together and have a bunch of babies. And that's where eels come from. Allegedly, allegedly, it's it's never been witnessed. Thankfully. Sounds a little traumatizing, doesn't it? I wonder how well this fish performs when it comes to vacuuming. Yeah, I guess we'll have to see. <laughs> um, actually, they haven't, Pody. It's only how we think that they... Procreate, it's not actually officially, it's never been confirmed. That's the thing about science. You can, you can say, yeah, gravity works like this, but you gotta prove it, buddy. That's how science works. Educational streamer, yeah. Oh, uh, there's a term for that sort of thing. Is there? What's it called? What's the term? No, wait, no, don't say it. <laughs> 
Never mind, forget I asked. I think I know what you're trying to say. I get the feeling you're not going to play these games more than one hour and 59 minutes. That's a very specific time, but you are correct. We are going to top this all off with backpack battles. There's an animal we haven't seen knocking boots. Oh yeah, there's actually quite a few animals. Like I know, but I know biologists are little freaks, but like there's some animals that still there's there's some secrecy there. Sounds like a goal. Yeah, maybe there's some young sprightly biologist in chat who's gonna get out there and go witness some eels getting down in Wrigley. Go return with some evidence, get some photos or something, or catch it on camera. Because they do it so infrequently, that just, it hasn't been seen. But it's alleged how it works. Two hour stream return policy? <laughs> or two hour steam return policy? I don't have to return these games because they're free on Steam. Short, sweet, free little games. Shout out to developers who just make a weird experience and then put it on Steam for free. You guys are heroes. It's creepy to watch. You, you... Yeah, that's probably also why it hasn't been seen. They're just some daughter. It's not like I like you or anything. And maybe it's for the best, though. This isn't a controller game, I don't think. Oh, is it? Never mind. I am incorrect. God, remember one time I was looking up non-flying birds and one of them was like, we don't actually know if this bird doesn't fly, but we have never seen it fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, biology is like that. Like, you can be like, um, actually, it's confirmed. It's like, it's confirmed in your head. It's like, you don't... Nobody has actually witnessed it yet. One of you has to go find out. One of you, one of you sprightly little biologists, you go out there, you go watch some eels. Um, actually. What bird were you researching, Zilli? What was the bird? Yeah, citation needed. Exactly. We don't actually know if it flies. Citation needed. I know chickens fly. I know pheasants fly. Not very well. Captain's got me on eel watch duty. Yeah, you go find an eel, you follow it into the ocean. You see how it reproduces. I'm still not convinced the shoebill can fly, and I need proof. <laughs> yeah, they have such big heads and big beaks. I did watch a documentary about shoebills, and it was just one shoebill sibling bullying the other one until it passed away. And it was really sad and really freaked up, and, like, I, I, I was... I was kind of a fan of shoebills up until that point. I was like, that's a funny looking bird. And then I watched that documentary. I was like, that's a freaked up bird. I think it was the wiki walk. I got sidetracked hard into learning about tectonic plates. <laughs> Ain't that just the way you go to research one thing and then you end up just down a completely different train of thought? The wiki walk. What a funny sounding bird. Do pigs fly? I don't know, scientists have never seen them fly, but perhaps. <laughs> Normal nestmate Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah, it was really sad. Like, um, I know competition is tough in the animal world, but not a lot of, not too many animal siblings, like, straight up try to kill each other. Like, this bird was trying to kill its brother. Like, it wasn't even just, like, out-competing it. It was, like, pecking at it every opportunity it got. It was straight-up bullying it all the time, grabbing food from it, and then it just passed away because it kept getting bullied. I was like, that's so freaked up. Why am I watching this? Anybody who's like, humans are the real monsters never met a bird. <laughs> Birds are a little freaked up. That is, that much is true. Hello, oh, hi, welcome, welcome. Okay, are we ready for some educational content? Let's find out how fish is made. Oh. Fish fall on ground. I am fish. Oh, hello. Oh, that's what I said. <laughs> what would a fish sound like? Like, oh, oh, hello. 
You just dropped. Huh. No, I'm not gonna do that the whole stream. Tell me, are you going up or down? You have to make up your mind by the end. Even though at least of us have to. So don't flatter yourself with your choice. Huh. Oh, how's the volume, by the way? Is it good? Anyone who raised chickens or had lots of birds near them knows that birds are assholes. As a Canadian who spent a lot of time around geese, they are... They are something. They are something. Didn't they recently caught whales mating on video for the first time and they were both males? <gasps> were they? Good for them. <laughs> That's sweet. I I haven't heard of that, but that's cool. I know there's some whales that are really elusive, like the blue whale and the sperm whale, and it comes up every so often. Basking sharks. There's certain, like, big whales and big ocean mammals that we just don't know a lot about because they spend so much time in the deep ocean. Yeah, we have now confirmed that whales are only gay. <laughs> Good for them. Good for them. Not hearing the game at all. Oh! Why? You are correct. Now we got some ominous tone. Thank you. I would have probably completely forgotten to turn back on the sound if you didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, that's so cool, Zuli. Secretive bird. It may be flightless, it may fly, but it is a secretive little guy, so we don't know. Yeah, there's, there's still a lot about certain animals on this planet that we don't really know a lot about. <laughs> Gay whales? Gales, if you'd be so inclined. I don't know. I don't know if that's a time saver. <laughs> Man, wish I was super rich to drop 100 subs for the bit. <laughs> Whale! Gay whale, I get it. I get it. That's a good one. I'll pretend- Wow! Oh my goodness! Shout out to the gay whale in chat. There we go. Good joke. Even the oiliest of us have to. So don't flatter yourself with your choice, huh? Where am I going? Don't worry about it. So, which is it? Up or down? Chat, which is it? Up or down? Should we vote? Do we go up? Do we go down? Oh, left? That's not an option. Which way? I'm gonna do a little vote. Up. Down. This poll shall be only one minute long. Okay, you can vote now. Oh, hi, welcome, welcome. Welcome aboard. Thank you for the hydration. Yeah, this is a great opportunity for me to intake some liquid. A talking fish? This is definitely peak, so we should go down. It's all downhill from here. We already met the talking fish. Stay here and chat with this guy, smile. We can stay here and chat with him, but eventually we're gonna have to choose. Like he said. We all have to choose eventually. Up or down. Up or down. Don't tie it! Or I'm gonna coin flip. Cringe! Fine, I'm coin flipping. Uh, heads up, tails down. Tails, we're going down. Um, you can just forever run this game. <laughs> yeah, let me just, like, walk away. We got tails. Yeah, we're going down. Oh dang, I didn't see the pull, that's okay. It was a fast one. So which is it, up or down? 
down. Ha <laughs> ha! Are you sure? Why? Why? Why did you laugh at that? I'm scared. Better be sure. Ha <laughs> ha. Like we're. Like we're smooching. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay. Well, we came from that pipe. I guess we'll continue on our little fish journey. Yeah, we're going down. No, I'm not putting you down. Not... Not yet. By the way, the machine can't talk to you. So you shouldn't talk to it. Haha. <laughs> I mean, uh, I know my cat can't talk to me, but that doesn't stop me from trying to talk to her. I've never been super into talking to myself, but there's certain activities that I start talking to myself while I do them. Art. Looking for something. Stuff like that. Oh look, a fish! Up! Up, up! You look like a smart guy. You also know the way is one way, and that way is up. And ain't no two ways about it. I've always known it was up. I never asked, I never changed. Never lied. Let me hear you sing it. I'd like to hear it. Where are you going? Where are you going? We're going down. What'd you say? Come again? We're going down. Wonder what will happen to you. Will it hurt? Will it stop? Oh well. Hey, if you've never been up or down, how do you know which is the way? He's just messing with you. He's messing with me. I don't like that. Wikipedia is a treasure, though. You can sit down and find that the biggest flying animal ever had a wingspan of 10 meters. Humanity still hasn't verified that the thing actually flew. I love that. I love that so much. I'm holy! I love weird animal effects. Will it hurt? Will it stop? Is so menacing. Oh, I'm sure it will be fine. I'm sure it's that's, that fish seemed insane. Probably has like a brain parasite or something. Ah, what fortune that we should meet. Do you not be foiled by that one? Is lost like so many are. We can only poetry them. I see you are in awe of my throne of inspiration. It clung to me suddenly one day, much like all my ideas do. Complete and un undeniable. Undentable! Complete and undentable! No, no, take it in as much as you like. It is a confirmation of my most oily brain. Do tell me, what blind groping has brought you to your choice? Be forewarned, I did a lot of thinking to know which is indeed the correct way. All answers come to me very quickly, such is my burden. Would you like to know? It might change your entire word few. It is down, yes. This I know for sure. But how? I hear you ask. Let me explain. No. It is simply too complex for you to phantom. My methods are beyond simple minds. I have ever, I have never, ever thought of a single reason to question myself. Can you believe it? No, you cannot. I am elated to have saved you from making a father embarrassment of yourself. Just think of me as your guide, mentor, and sage. Is this fish okay? Ask chat. <laughs> You're welcome! How very helpful. Oh, Sam Hui! Hope you're having a good Sunday. I am a fish. This fish thinks I should go down, the other one thinks I should go up. This fish sounds smart, and I do like his throne. My throne? No, no, no. It's not uncomfortable. At all! Ugh. Not in the slightest, I say, in the most pain I've ever experienced. Up, up, up! This fish is humble. He wouldn't- yeah, he would not lie to us. And I've already done the coin flip. You can't unflip that coin. We're going down, I've decided. Whoa. The 
this way. We go this way. Wait a minute, is this a metaphor for the postmodern search for meaning in an uncaring universe? Oh, my brain! No, this is just a game about fish. <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you mean there's some deep meta commentary about an uncaring universe and searching for our own meaning or something? I'm just a fish. Is this fish okay? Ah! He's clearly not okay. Oh, hello. Um, the way's over there. You okay, bro? I don't know what to do. My family went up, but my best bud said that down is the correct answer. The family is big but distant in their togetherness, but the big group together safest is the topistest truth. Why would he do this to me? Down is wrong. I can feel it between my shiniest flakes. We've swam together since both of us were but scrampy things. But h how can I know if he really... If he'll agree to always be my friend? No one cares about how I feel. Not even him. I don't want to choose if I can't know exactly how it will turn out. Y you Which way should I go? Up with the family or down with my buddy? Oh, brother. Um, I'm just a fish. Are you, I, I, this feels like a decision that you should... I mean, it all depends. He said his family was distant. Oh, hey, hoy. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. <laughs> the punch, if the punchline is you get turned into cat food, I'm gonna be mad. We'll see. Not to spoil the ending, I literally can't because I don't know what's happening. This is about breeding upstream or downstream. Depends on what kind of fish they are. What kind of fish does this look like? He's he's all like, I don't know. It's it's a little, little bass, I guess. So the crew finally sent our captain to walk the plank. What's life like with the fishes? Well, who knew that being a fish was so complicated? You got to make really complicated decisions. Like, do I go up or do I go down? I think this guy should go. If he's doubting his friendship, I think he should go up. You're right. It's not my fault he was stupid and flattering himself trying to be big important. I don't always get along with them. But I suppose what your family decides is always, always best in the end. Wait, no, that's not... That's not... Thank you. I will never question them again. No, you should... You should definitely question your family. And you should definitely question your friends. Don't be a... Don't be a dick about it. Wait, I'm a fish. Why am I avoiding the water? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Finally, I'm home. <laughs> Ugh. Um, I feel like I'm about to get swallowed up. Down the pipe. Ooh. Ugh. Ow. Yeah, based and down build. We go down. Behold! What did we do to deserve bearing witness to such glory? It... It must mean something. But what? What is trying to- what is it trying to say? Oh, uh, I've groped through my noggin. I have eyed every detail. I don't understand the message. There must be a way out of this creature's stomach. The answer is here. It looks down upon us. Oh. <laughs> what is it revealing? Oh, uh, <gasps> wait a second. I get it now. If we're in a creature's stomach, we must go down. We gotta make it out the other end. Yes, yes, I see it. 
Can you see it? It has to be. Behold, behold. It swallowed us down, so we must keep going down. First, I must get inside. I must be cleansed by this untainted substance. Join me. Wash with me in this purity. Oh, to be chosen for such sublime anointment. I truly envy him. I must become worthy. Sob, sob, sob. Finding Nemo's existential freakout. <laughs> existential chat, this is just a game about fish. I'm sure any deeper commentary, you're just reading too far into it. Has art gone too far? I don't think it's gone far enough. Hey, buddy. Um, I thought he was trapped in goop. I now realize. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my goodness gracious. Maybe don't anoint yourself. Maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what? Art has gone too far. Took me way too long to comprehend what that was. Anoint yourself now. No, please. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wilhelm scream. Yeah, I'm leaving. These fish are freaks. Oh. Machinery. We did hear tale of a machine. It's, it's a little loud. I'm just gonna turn that down a little bit. Oh no. Chad just got it. Can you show Can you show it to us again, streamer? No, I... I... They just... Uh, they're just having fun splashing around in some sewer goop they found or something. I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, what are you doing? Don't touch that! Somebody help me! Help! Ah! Wait up, you are you stuck? Oh! Please help me! It's embarrassing. But I thought I had found the gills of this creature that swallowed us. So I figured I'd wriggle my way out through them. That's actually really smart. This is a smart fish, besides the fact that he got caught in some gears. But who am I to expect a fish to know what machinery is? But who would have thought they were not gills? If it's not too much of a bother, could you unstuck me? Thank you ever so much for your kindness. Oh uh, wait, hold on. This is important. Whatever you do, just make sure not to touch that round, red, glowing thing over there, okay? Thanks. Oh, what a relief. I thought I might be stuck here forever. Okay, how do we... How do we get him down? I can barely feel my fins. Are they still there? Um... Uh... Maybe I just... Ugh! Come on. No, I can't. I can't go through. Not even with the little gap. Um, I might have to push that button. Ooh. I don't really see another option. <laughs> this sure seems like a game. I, I'm playing it right now like you would a video game. Yeah, I think I have to touch the red round glowing thing now. Maybe, maybe I don't look at him. Maybe I look over here. It's a, it's really a fishy fish world out there. You know, if, if we're, since we're actually fish, I know that these little guys would not hesitate to try to eat each other anyway, so really why should I care? Yeah, some real clean cuts. Oh, what's... What is this? Is this the digestive system or something? I do not like those orbular things. Alright. 
I'm a fish. Why why should I be scared of a little water? <laughs> Pancreas. It is a little pancreoidal looking. Are you gonna eat that? No, you can have it. Choosing violence in a non-violent game. Why am I not surprised? I didn't have a choice. I didn't choose because I didn't have a choice. I'm starting to think the up-down thing is also not a choice. I'm starting to think that maybe we never had a choice. Looking at that, I'd say this guy should eat more vegetables. <laughs> yeah, less fish, more vegetables. I agree. Not good to eat just one thing. Oh. A fish. Hark. Ew. Oh my god. He's got one of them, uh, the fish tongue parasites. I remember seeing a video of one when I was younger and I was quite frankly disturbed. These guys, what they do is, they are a parasite. I forget what they're called, they're some sort of isopodal parasite. And they eat the fish's tongue and then replace the tongue with themselves. So that when the fish eats, they can grab hold of like little bits of food. It's really quite smart, I suppose. Aha! What fortune that you dropped into this most productive of places. Him? Why, me and my friend O here go way back. I had his tongue, and we've been co-workers ever since. I'll betcha. We have a lot of learnings we can share. You want a tongue parasite? Are you sure, Chad? Are you sure? Good job, that fish don't really need tongues. Yeah, it's quite smart because... I wouldn't say it's symbiotic, it is a parasitic relationship because that guy just takes. But it's a non-harmful one, I don't think. I know they can get quite large though, maybe it does end up by being harmful. It, see, if I was the fish, I would swim- I'd, I'd shrimply swallow the bug, and then I would have a bug in my tummy. I always say, you have to get passionate about something. Me? I'm passionate about friendship. I want to be there for people as much as possible. It's like my buddy here always says, teamwork is the soul of success. I think that's beautiful. Now, well by golly, I've been stuck. I've been struck by the most brilliant of ideas. Would you mind if I incentivized you with a little musical stylings of my own creation? Did I say incentivized? I meant incentivized. Is this bug gonna sing to me? I'm gonna freak out if it tries to sing at me. My friendo does so enjoy a little show tune here and there. Alrighty then. Hold on to your gills. Oh my goodness! Look at him go! I don't speak bugs, so I can't hear him, but I'm sure he's spitting. Oh wow, yeah, just show me more parasites, please. <laughs> Do fish feel pain? No, please, no. I know there is like a huge like <laughs> there is a myth that fish can't feel pain, but they still they got a nervous system. Anything with a nervous system can in fact allegedly feel pain. I 
I was not expecting a musical number done by a tongue parasite. Yeah, rest in peace anybody who wanted to eat today. It's okay, you're not a fish. You're not a fish. Yeah, kind of a bop. Fish music goes hard. I just finished eating right before this started. Oh, thank goodness. Why didn't the captain sing it first? I don't know this song. <laughs> this is my first time hearing it. Yeah, but now that I know the lyrics and uh, the music... Yeah, maybe next time I'll sing it for you guys. I didn't want to upstage the tongue parasite. <laughs> I like how he's holding a nasty swap. Yeah, that was kind of- that was cool, but like also a little sh nasty. Yeah, intriguing, intriguing for sure. Also, welcome, him, hoi! Yeah, a bit of a weird time to join in on. Woohoo! Well, buddy, how you be feeling? Synced with success? Aligned with ambition? Yeah, that was inspirational. No doubt about it, my buddy, my pal. I dare say I snuck a little of my core confidence in you. Uh, did he did he lay an egg in my tongue? You'll feel it real soon. Don't you worry. When did he do that? Uh, chat, look in my mouth. Do I have it? Do do I have any bugs in there? Oh. Uh, moving on. Yeah, my tongue looks fine, right? Yeah. Uh, do I have any bugs? Has my tongue been replaced by a tongue parasite? <laughs> no, we're clear? Okay, thank goodness. Didn't see any eggs. Yeah, that's off the 2024 checklist. Listen to a tongue parasite do a musical. <laughs> Wow, what an experience. Oh, you want a kiss as well? Even though I might have some eggs in my tongue? Might as well share the love. Mwah! Your tongue is normally kind of... chitinous, right? I don't know what that means, so I'm just gonna agree. Yeah, probably. Yeah, don't be ridiculous. There's no way your tongue would have a parasite egg. That's visible to the naked eye. You'll have to wait a couple of weeks to see if it develops. Okay, we'll check back in a couple of weeks to see if my tongue parasite is hatched. <laughs> that reminds me of... I don't know if it was a myth or not. I feel like it was a myth, but there was a tale that was being shared around... Years ago, when I was just a kid, that if you licked an envelope and got a cut on your tongue, a cockroach would lay probably lay an egg in it and it happened to allegedly happened to a woman she licked an envelope got a little paper cut on her tongue and a cockroach laid an egg in it and then she had cockroaches crawling out of her mouth that sounds fake but at the same time i don't know anymore i just don't know what's happening with these guys they taking a bath that can't be true right cockroaches they suck but they're not parasites Peak? <laughs> Peak fiction, maybe. How did a cockroach get her mouth in the first place? Yeah, she would have had to, like, eat them or something. That's exactly what I thought. I was like, was it on the envelope and she just didn't care and it, like, went, hmm. It still put the fear of God in me, though. Like, I stopped licking envelopes after that. I was like, this doesn't sound true, but I don't want to risk it. It's one of those things. Oh my god, oh. Uh, warning for tri tryptophobia? Is that what it's called? Tri tripto tryptophobia? Holes. 
if you have a deep disconcerting fear of holes um, up ahead, I don't think it's going to make you feel very good. Might be perhaps a little queasy inducing. Sorry, just glimpsed it again. <laughs> Not just any holes. Holes! Like that, ugh. I don't have that, but like, it's it's still... It rubs me the wrong way. Gives me that weird spine tingly feeling. It's... Ugh. There was a game, I think it was The Witcher 3, that had these swamp hags. One of them had an eye that looked exactly like it was covered in those little holes. Just freaked me out. No, is it talking to me? No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't have tryptophobia or whatever it's called, but I have a strong dislike of this imagery. It, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> wholesome? <laughs> no, not the kind of wholesome I was going for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, were the eggs already in the envelope and they happened to fall into the cut or something? It's just, it sounds fake. But I was a kid and I just did not want to risk it. <laughs> Why do you deserve it? Not gonna lie, I'm still stuck on that musical segment. Yeah, my brain is still, like with the tongue parasite right now. This game has, like, successfully confused me. Like, that's gonna be living in my head rent-free for quite a while. I'm just gonna be doing laundry or something, and I'm gonna have the little dancing bug with his gross little Q-tip swinging his booty around, going like... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. I'm gonna be thinking about it. It's just- it's gonna pop into my head like an invasive thought. Months from now. Will you be able to live with it? Try and try and try and try and try again? Ah, uh, those double action hinges have always been there. Just for you, right? You'll come back. Everyone does. Weak. Or you'll go looking. One way or another, right? Weak. What is bro yapping about? Oh, it's a shower head! Like that one. I see. Clean your shower heads, chat. You don't want them to end up like this. Don't say it. Don't say the tongue parasite is still with you. It's the. Uh, no bugs have laid eggs in my mouth. Cockroaches lay eggs near most moist dark places near a food source, but that's not going to be a human mouth. That's just asking for me to swallow you by accident. Whoa. Ugh. It's making me a little queasy. Yeah, just like, just like chat, it's a good thing I ate before this stream. Lotus heads? Lotus seed heads. Maybe chat, maybe it isn't a shower head or a lotus seed head. Maybe we're just all seeing something that's meaningful to us. Hello? It is time. Choose. Oh. Up or down. I've committed to down thus far. I see. Do you understand yet? This privilege of choice that has been given to a worthless critter like you. That is the gift. Not the outcome. Did the uncertainty scare you? Or does it scare you more to know there is no choice for you at all? I freaking knew it. Then all of this would have been for nothing. But wouldn't it feel better? Don't flatter yourself. I'll tell you a secret. You've already made your choice. This is not about making a decision. This is about a test of conviction. 
Have you strayed from your path? Have you been honest and true to your truth, even to others? I, I have been, except the one guy who asked me if he should go with his friend or family. But he wasn't asking which way I was going, he was asking which way he was going. <laughs> Did you believe me just now? I'm just a fish in an imposing room. Good enough, right? <laughs> oh, you got me. You had me going for a second. In the end, I am just a fish. Oh, it's like he's eating me. I wouldn't eat any of those. They taste awful. Got him. Yeah, I got catfished. Oh, I guess just regular fished. The ominous fish game. How fish is made has a page on. Does the dog die, by the way? What? How? Is there... What do you mean, does the dog die? It's a fish. It's... Hmm. I always thought the dogs of the ocean were like sea lions. That's a big fish. You're a big fish. This is really it, huh? I'll level with ya. Ain't real sure I can do this. Did you run into that smart-talking fellow earlier? He sure did seem to know what he was talking about. Here, I've been always thinking. I'm the biggest thing in the water. Look at me now. A big old boy shivering like a scramp out in the blue. Ha! Huh. Anyway, I thought keeping track of how many fish went in either direction would help. Not sure if it did at all. Let me tell ya. Reckon you wanna hear how many have gone each way. Huh, well, I guess it doesn't matter, but yeah, sure, let's... You've been- you've been stat-checking. I'm interested. I'm curious. <laughs> oh, does the dog die as a website content- for content warnings in general? Okay, thank you for clearing that up. I thought it was just like... Does the dog die? Okay, that confirms there is no dog in this. I was scared for a second. I was like, what next? Are we gonna... Are we actually in the tum tummy of a dog or something? I was scared. You had me going for a second. I was like, no, I don't want to be a... I don't want to do tapeworm simulator. Taco! <laughs> Carry on. Yeah, tell me. Tell me the stats. You sure? Might be best to just follow your gut at this point. Yeah, I'm sure. Alrighty. By my count, 199 fish have gone up. 474 have gone down. Wow, a lot more fish have gone down. But, like, we flipped the coin. Our decision was made fatefully. Hearing the stats does not shake my conviction. No, I'm not going with the stream. We did a coin flip. I'm not- uh, I may be a fish, but I'm not gonna flip-flop my decision. Well, actually, first we did a poll, and then chat was like, I'm gonna be funny and tie it. Up or down, here we are. Ugh. Either way, it's kind of just a scary black tunnel. Chat doesn't deserve democracy. <laughs> yeah, well, I try. I tried. I tried to give you some democratic agency. Down we go. You know, I always hated hearing, don't worry, a lot of people are going through the same thing. You're not alone. There's this selfish, barbed wire inside my chest that coils up at that. No, my pain is more tragic, grander, deeper, 
If only you knew. That's not true, of course. I hate talking about it. Because I hate people who talk about it. And that's not very nice. That's not okay. That's not how you can be about all this. It's not romantic, but at least it's true. Don't worry. A lot of people are going through the same thing. A lot of people are fish choosing to go up or down. And that's what makes it the best USP yet. Thanks for playing. No! <laughs> Can anything beat home cooking straight off the conveyor belt? These fish are so fresh they might just give you a little wink and jump right off the plate into your mouth. Ain't no meal that can't be kicked into high gear with the addition of nature's own flavor, torpedoes. So, indulge in the oiliest, saltiest sardines served every day by our ingeniously creative kitchen artists. Take pride in knowing you helped bring these little troopers to our plates. Friends, that's not flattery. That's a fact. <laughs> Wait, expansion? What? It, it, this better not open Steam. Of course, we are all cell fish. We're all a little shellfish, aren't we? Are we all a little shellfish? <laughs> I know I am. <gasps> Welcome aboard. Glad to have you. I'm gonna click this button, but yeah. Oh, no, what? Is it opening something else or did it just close the game? Doing? Whoa! I'm scared! Hold on, let me get the sound in our- Wait, there's more! Y you can't just change games on me! Uh, part two, apparently. <laughs> oh, you thought it was over? This is the expansion. She is on the hook for more. Yeah, I'm on the hook already. Gia, what aquatic creature would you like to be? Oh, genuine question. If I could choose... I thought about this. If I could be brought back as anything, I think I would want to be... A whale of some sort. Because not only does it seem fun as heck to swim and be like a big... Large swimming fish, but like they got, they got deep feelings. And they seem to be familial creatures. And I think that's super cool. <laughs> Meanwhile, a dump in the night exists. I'm sad I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got the we got the sound. Alright. I am fishball. And whales are gay, yeah. Added bonus. Whales are gay. Oh my god, Katamari? I got two heads. La 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 Katamari, but I have a bit more control over my ball. Yellow. Forgetful grizzly, forgetful grizzly, this bears repeating. <laughs> Welcome back to the crew. Thank you for 27 whole dang months. Wow. Let me just collect all my friends here. Thank you, thank you. Fish popcorn. I do look a little bit like a piece of popcorn. Da, 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 da. Wait, did I miss anything? Here, lonely rolling star. Yeah, can we get the Katamari soundtrack up? That's over here. Oh! Join my ball! Look at me go! Look at you! We've done it! We're special! Bigger. Shinier. And it can only get better. Your eyes will be my mouth. Your tongue will be my fins. More is more is more is more. 
Devour your smallness. Fill the void. Oh, consume. I can't consume him. I'm not big enough. Wait! Don't leave me. I'll come back for you. I'll come back and consume you later. Hold on. I gotta get bigger. Get in the ball. Everybody get in my ball. Just what I think I'm out. They find a way to pull me back in. Mmm. Okay, that's all the junk in here. Can I can I consume? Can I consume yet? Get in the fishbowl, Shinji. Oh consume. 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 <laughs> yes, every part of you is part of me. Let's go, friend. La 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 There's another side we can go to. Me never having watched Ava. Haha, <laughs> yes, get in the mech, Shinji. You are a disappointment. That was just the Katamari I was dealing Oh no. Yeah, the bot was like, how dare you? You gotta sing it in your head. Oh, him hoy! Welcome, welcome. You came here from a certain person. Ominous, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Can I break down the door? <laughs> Alright, down the chute. Anyone else hungry? I I'm just- I'm just playing. Oh! Down with the smack. He said he was here a moment ago. Hmm. I wonder who. <laughs> She's bawling out of control. In the end, I am fish. Welcome, welcome! It's hard to see, but I think there's some chunks around here. Let me roll around a little aimlessly. See if I can pick everything up. Whoa! Uh, I'm falling. I'm fish. It's so dark. What's happening? Oh, light. Hello. Oh. Okay. I've attached another fish to myself. Whoa. Okay. The light travels. Gotta follow it, but I also need these fish on my body. I must grow bigger. That's a big fish. These are big fish. But I'm too small. Hold on, there's a bunch here. I need a little fish flashlight. Or maybe we can try to like suck up a angler fish or something. Those have bioluminescence, right? Am I falling again? <laughs> or am I? Am I still? Oh my god, I I'm I'm freaking out. You chose down again? I I guess. Did I? It's so dark. I don't know what direction I'm going. Just, oh, I'm just in a void. Did I get anyone else? If not, that's a little embarrassing. But holy moly, I was not expecting there to be a face. 
I was expecting a fish or maybe to start speaking to the void. It's easy to get on this boat when you have to. That was an adorable squeak. It, it was a war cry. It was not a squeak. Yeah, if, if the certain person who suggested me doesn't mind being outed, by all means. I always appreciate it. Hey, I recognize that face. Who, whose face? What do you mean you recognize it? This is just Ava? Oh my god, get in the mech Shinji, it's full circle. Zuli? Aww. Zuli. Yeah, we're talking about um, birds that are allegedly flightless. No one has seen them fly, but they could. It's in the demo of a different game. Oh. Yeah, they were advertising in the corner. Yeah, no, I... Yeah, that's the face. That's right. You say to yourself, this is just temporary. Just until I get what I need. Got bigger things planned. Then suddenly, you're one year in. Five years, ten... First, I couldn't stand the constant, constant noise. Now I can't sleep without it. A lot of things can't follow you out here. But it also means the outside world moves on without you. Won't even notice until it's too late. Easy to get on. Hard to leave. I can't consume yet. I'm not big enough. I'm not Katamari large enough to consume the entire galaxy. Just yet. <laughs> what a nice seed to come back to. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. Say hello to him for you. Yeah, say hi to him. Tell them I sent you. Is this a metaphor for moving to Chicago? I've never moved to Chicago, so... Oh. I wouldn't know. I feel like I'm not big enough to consume anything. I'm just a little guy. Well, there's even more. Hey, what's over there? Ew! Guess there's only one way to go, and that's down further. Adios. Oh. Back here? No, it wants me to go into that weird orifice. I don't know about that one. We could go this way. Down the twisty windy one, so I don't have to go into that weird hole. No, I'm not big enough to go down the twisty windy thing! I have to go into the orifice. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. There's a couple of things I can consume. Maybe I can get big enough to go down the twisty windy thing. Didn't even see these little guys just trapped here in the meat. I use the twisty windy thing when you can just fall down. I mean, we're gonna keep falling infinitely if I do that. A lot of things can be a metaphor for moving to Chicago and vice versa. <laughs> uh, sh Chicagonians, can you confirm? Is this what it's like to move to Chicago? Okay, am I big enough? Uh, what? Ah! I, I kind of... I kind of spun out there a little bit. Okay. Nope, nope, still not big enough. I have to go in the heart, the, the Morpheus, you said Morpheus, Dorpheus, into the Orpheus. Okay. I think my ball is sticky. Makes it easier to roll. Okay. <gasps> yeah, there's some meat in the Orpheus, though. Hey, boy. 
How y'all doing? I'm doing good. I'm a fishball right now. Are those party balloons? Can I collect them? I can't collect them. But that's a, that's a fun little touch. Is this somebody's birthday? Whoa. Hi. That is a fat fish. Look at how rotundular he is. Hey! Don't you touch nothing! This is mine. Find your own. <laughs> I'm having such a great time. Goody goody. Who knew that such a thing existed? Who knew how good it could be? Shiny, shiny, shiny. I got the shiny on the inside. Nothing can compare. Roba! Hmm? Come with you. I don't need you to get big. Look at me. The biggest. You ain't got the shiny like I do. You don't understand. Huh. I'll just have to pretend. <laughs> this happiness. All mine. Well, guess what, Bozo? You're mine now. Kidnaps you into my ball? N no, I'm the biggest. I should be eating you. Ah! <laughs> Look at him struggle. This is a big boy, though. Rotundular lad. Sure. Zero to ten can't collect the balloons. That's fine. I don't need a balloon. I got this guy. Can I collect the cake? Looks tasty. What kind of cake do you think this is? Red velvet? Chocolate? Yeah, what a greedy bozo. Oh, are you talking about me? In that case, yes. Get Kirby'd. Yeah, the new Kirby game's looking a little wild. Weird that they decided to go for the fish aesthetic instead of the uh, giant pink orbular creature. Yeah, the meat aesthetic. I guess we're big enough now. Oh! Wait. What happened here? That's new. Dots. 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 Portal cake. This was a triumph. I'm kind of scared to roll out of bounds because I might just fall down again. Uh, maybe we go into the... into the chute here. It seems like it wants me to. What a weird game this has been. What a trip. What a thrill. Is that another fish? Hello? Dots. Consume. Oh, it's a little guy. Cannot go that way. I guess we'll go towards the creepy eyeball. <laughs> Why are you shaking your head? This is what I was born to do. Consume. Consume. I don't think I can consume this. I'm not big enough. Yeah, you never have to be lonely again. Become one with the fishball. Do you want to hear a joke? <laughs> what, a, what a statement coming from a giant eyeball. Consume his cornea. We got our we gotta slow our roll a bit, chat. Let's not consume everything just yet. Let's find out what everybody has to say first. Do you wanna hear a joke? Also, I wanna hear this joke. Three men are in the hospital. The first man cries. I lost both my hands. They told me I'll never work again. The second man wails. I lost both my legs. They told me I'll never work again. The third man? He rejoices. I lost my hearing. They'll never be able to tell me I'm fired again. <laughs> Good one, huh? Consume, consume, consume. Uh, yeah, very funny. Yuck, yuck, yuck. The side splitter right there. Ugh. 
Oh, we're back here. <laughs> Food's a lot more satisfying if you have a chance to talk to it first. You ever been to those restaurants where they choose your lobster or your fish? You can look in the tank and see it swimming around. Those That always felt very morbid. And it always made me a little sad. Okay. Yeah, we can go this way now. Okay, gently. We don't want to be like a Hot Wheels. Flying off the track. Because we're going too fast and furious. Woo! It's like a little roller coaster for a fishbowl. Put your arms up. Whee! <laughs> yeah! Become Hot Wheels. I love those little RC racetracks. Oh yeah, absorb that into my fishbowl. When I was in Scouts, for whatever reason, making a car was like part of... Part of the experience. And then we would erase them. And we'd spend all this time carving them out of wood and painting them. And then, um... We turned them into RC cars, and then we'd race them. Pretty cool. I worked on one with a friend, so I don't have it anymore. But it's out there somewhere. Yeah, we're adding to the ball. Getting bigger. Better, stronger. Any more I can add? Any little fish bits for me? I got a big old fish head attached to me. Oh, oh my goodness. We're getting bigger. We're getting more rotundular. Harder, better, stronger, faster, fisher. Sounds pretty fun. Yeah, I have fond memories of scouts. I was in the Girl Scouts version that we had in Canada. I think it's brownies or something. It... It was less camping-centric, so it never really vibed with me. I preferred the wilderness stuff, like the making campfires. Playing cards in the middle of the woods. Okay, I think that's all the objects I can consume. Hey, what is this mouthwash? I don't know. I don't know if this will still be enough. Dragon breath. Ugh. I'm having some trouble turning around. I'm a little big. What? I thought I was going to fall backwards. I wanted to get off the grid. Honestly, I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind getting off the grid. Then again, I wouldn't be able to stream, so... For an appetizer, I'll have command of life and death. That sounds delicious, chat. Yeah, you should definitely order that. Adding candles, making campfires, just anything with arson, honestly. No! I like those scary stories, too, and the chopping down uh, wood. That was cool. And the hiking. I want to go back. Ooh, why did I have to come here? We belonged in that other place. I want to go up or down. Wait, no. Or was it left or right? Huh. Ugh. I was so stupid to think I could be different. Sure, I, it was scary, but... Now I'm all alone. Look at you. Take me back there. I can help. I can see perfectly clearly. Nothing can touch us if we're together. You're just like me. Take me with you. Consume. A yoink. Ooh, everything goes round and round and round again. Perhaps we will go full circle. Perhaps. Imagine if you could stream while staying off the grid. 
Yeah, I don't know how you'd stay off the grid and still have an internet connection. Pay for an internet plan. I am trying to roll forward and I my momentum is shooting me backwards. Hold on, let me let me get a good roll going. Scary story of the little hamster who lit everything on fire. Uh, believe it or not, I was not... I was not the... Ah! I was not the arson-inclined individual at camp. There were people who were way more into lighting things on fire than I was. The people tried to light, like, a couch on fire, benches... It's really unsafe. I was like, I felt like a second babysitter besides the leaders. I was like, no, don't, maybe, maybe don't light that on fire. Maybe don't eat that. Maybe don't put that in your mouth. I cannot believe it. <laughs> I like to light things on fire in safe conditions. Uninhibited. Hello. Do you want to talk again? Or are you just going to stare at me? I'm trying to get closer. There we go. Next comes Spite. First it stares back at you in the mirror. Then it's those around you. They're wearing your face and you theirs. Got a little fish just like freaking out. <laughs> help me! Help me! Solar power and satellite internet I suppose. Is that possible? I don't know. We need someone who's off the grid to be like... To... I guess tell us their secrets. I don't know if someone who's off the grid is gonna be on Twitch. I remember, though, going to a house that was almost completely off the grid. They had, like, a uh, solar power set up. The house was built in a certain way where it was, like, self-heating during the winter and then fairly cool during the summer. They didn't have internet, and their power, they, they got it just purely from the solar panels that they had on their house. I thought that was pretty cool. I think they had a backup generator, though, just in case. Then it's those around you. They're wearing your face, and you theirs. You know, he joined because of me. What were the words I used? Ah, oh, right. It's a great opportunity. Easy money, just a trip or two. Someone else's words in my mouth. Hey. Worked on me as well, right? Change hurts, but worse things fester for a long time. I told them as much. I tried, I really did. We're defined by our past, but not slaves to it. We said tomorrow will be different. Today would be the last day, the last one. The last one and then another. And another and another. And another. By the way, I'm not controlling this. Hurts going down, huh? You know what they say. Pain is how we know we're still living. A revolutionary new dental hygiene product! Designed to kill bacteria. All day fresh. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, whoops. I'm afraid you weren't supposed to see all that. Je pate, that's me. That means I love you in French. Please don't Google it. So, never mind it. Don't give it a thought. Not a one. Hey now, I got something. That'll really flap your friends, partner. Wishlist mouthwashing on steam. Wow, little parasite in this fish's tongue. It'll be a swell time all around. Other games, ain't worth your time. I know that if nothing 
I know that if nothing else. I look out for you, my buddy, my pal. Same as always. Tell everyone. <laughs> you see, not wish listing mouthwash is a clear sign of weak character. It demonstrates a lack of in initiative to succeed. Alrighty now. Don't let me catch you without a wish list. Oh my god, is he gonna like kill me if I don't? Not doing so would practically be a crime. <laughs> See what I'm saying? I'm I've I've been trapped. I've been trapped into this Patong Parasite's sales pitch. I need to see my friend out here get angry with you. Oh boy, does it rile him up something fierce? Splendid. Knew I could count on you, Jepete. Only good times ahead. <laughs> oh my god, I thought it wasn't gonna give me a option. <laughs> I will wish list because I am intrigued. Wow, subtle and seamless plug. Yeah, that was advertisement. What advertisement? I'm still intrigued though. What an interesting game. I think they had me at the Woodlouse musical. That, not Woodlouse. Tongue, tongue Parasite. I guess the Tongue Parasite is like a Woodlouse. They're like the same... What do you call it? Like... Under the same branch? They're isopods? Little isopodal creatures? One eats tongues, though. Isn't Jupite your name in Backpack Battles? This game knows. No, it knows my Steam name! No! He's going to eat your tongue if you don't do it. No, my tongue! Lysiomorph, is that really what it's called? <laughs> Tongue parasites are with louse of the sea. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think, chat room? What a what a weird game. I liked being a fishball though. I always like games where you just like well, like Katamari, you roll around and you just collect things and get bigger. I remember playing a, it might have been on mini clip. it could have been on Nitro, there was like a worm game where you, where you just like, you try to get bigger as a worm. It is not worm IO or something, no, it's not snake IO, this, this was different, you were like a dune worm, you were like, eating people. I forget what it's called though, that was years ago, maybe I even made it up in my head, who knows. Alright, this a uh, fish out of fish. <laughs> Super monkey ball stream. No, you don't absorb other monkey balls into your ball with super monkey ball. You just get frustrated that you fall off the edge all the time. Sounds fun. It, it was fun. Okay. We switch game. La 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 da 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 la da 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 da. <laughs> I will actually wish list them. Does it have a release date? Was it a flash game? Could have been F and Worms, which was a 2D game. That premise. It was a flash game, and it could have been F and Worms. Although I can't see Little Chia playing a game that was swear adjacent in the title. I know, weird. Wild, I know. But I was a little swear adverse as a child, and now look at me now. You don't? What monkey ball have I been playing? Ooh. Yeah, where would be a good place to share YouTube videos? It's uh, definitely the, the media channel in the Discord. But I haven't done a media watch Satsudan in a while. And I don't know if I will. Although people have been jumping at the bit to see some more Germa content. So have I, frankly. Germa is timeless. It was a very famous Flash game back in the Flash era. Yeah, maybe I did play that. Maybe that was the one. Maybe that was the one. There was also some other games of a similar prem premise, but you weren't a worm. You were like a kaiju. And you go around eating people and getting bigger and more powerful. 
I've always liked games like that. The power trip game makes me feel strong. <laughs> of course they would do that. Yeah, of course. Okay, I'm gonna refill my water as well, and then we're gonna switch over to backpack battles. I will take five minutes. I'll be back. Don't miss me too much. Eaten by fishbell. Wasn't gone very long. Only enough to use the washroom and refill my water. No, I did not fall in. She wants to be a giant man-eating hamster. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Anyways, anyone know how to turn me into a giant man-eating hamster? I'm just not asking for a friend. Sometimes it's like I can still hear her. <laughs> yeah, separation anxiety goes hard. So, did you learn how fish is made? Oh my god, that is... <laughs> did we learn how fish is made? I guess so. We did go down into the bowels of some sort of machine and got spat out on the other side as a sandwich and then a fish bowl. And if that's how fish is made, I'm not... I'm, I don't know. Not sure. Not sure I like that very much. Might have to rethink this whole fish thing. Um, backpack battles. Just changing category here. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da -ba. <laughs> and I'm also gonna get some tunes. Be fish, lay egg, make more fish. A uh, green text, be me, be fish, uh, lay egg. Guess to get some eggs laid inside of you as well. Honestly, the tongue parasite stole the show. The tongue parasite stole the whole show. Okay. 
Okay. Changing screens. Are sticking around. She's back, scatter, run! Don't worry, I swear I'm not gonna turn you into a hamster ball. I won't consume you. You're safe around me. The only reason you'd have to fear being around a hamster is if you were said hamster's child, perhaps. Backpack battle is definitely a weird game you found on Steam. <laughs> it is! It kinda is! I've been kind of. I've been a bit itch.io pilled. I want to download. I just, I don't know. I have an urge inside of me to download more weird games. Just play a bunch of weird games. I don't know. Are you with me, crew? Are you are you on this wild ride with me? Do you want to see what itch.io has in the future? And we'll play some more weird games like that. I'm into like short, weird experiences. So the whole show just like the fish's tongue. Ah, uh, ayo, high five. Welcome back, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Why play a game that isn't weird? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the bunch of experimental games. I'm all for experimental games, for sure. For sure, for sure. Yeah, the the bot does not like when you say h.io. You can say itch.io and I'll understand without the, the dot. I'll put two and two together. I swear I've got comprehension skills like that. For the most part. I know I get it twisted sometimes. Gotta be careful with that. Yeah, you gotta be a little careful with the dot. <laughs> it's mostly because posting outside links is like... I don't think there you'd find a lot of streams on Twitch that would allow it just because you're opening up yourself to some risky business there. Why is the O itchy? Maybe you should get some cream or something, if it's that itchy. Okay, backpack battles. Chill beats to smite opponents to. Check, 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 check. I think we're good to go. I really, I believe Voices of the Void for that. Kind of kicking off the weird game bug that I've had in my brain this entire time. Sloppy Saturday has been an outlet for that for sure, though. Who should I play? Oh, the, the Switch class menu is a little different. Bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I haven't played the Reaper, Reaper in, like, in forever. You can see by my rank. Maybe more ranger? I just think the ranger is cute. Is it bad to play a character just because you think that they're cute? I also think critters are pretty good. Captain, why not search worm on itch.io? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like some midnight googling for me to do. When I before I go to bed when I when I'm like, no, I don't want to go to sleep. Maybe I'm just gonna procrastinate sleep and search worm on it, try and see where that gets me. Did you finish Voices of the Void? Voices of the Void is one of those games where I think it could go on infinitely, theoretically. I I'm starting to believe that aliens just don't exist in Voices of the Void though, because I haven't seen a single dang alien. I don't even think it's scary. Everyone seems to think it's a horror game and all freaky and stuff. I haven't seen anything weird happen. I've had two nightmares and like, that's it. The weirdest thing in those woods is me. Maybe I'm the alien. Bro picking cute girls is my philosophy in every game. Oh, high five. Yeah, there's no real ending for Voices of the Void. Cute, no hot, maybe to each their own. <laughs> I think whoever did the character design would be very happy if you played a character because they're cute. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure everyone artists hear that their characters are cute and makes them smile. Oh, you'll see. Will I though? Because I haven't seen so far. You had a femur skeleton spawn in your chair. 
Yeah, but is that scary? Kind of just looked like a Halloween prop. Like, no joke, I've got a skeleton sitting downstairs on, like, one of the couches. It's been there for, like, four years now. They call him Mr. Bones. He is, in fact, a Halloween prop that just never got moved. <laughs> so he's in the- he's on a couch in the corner, just chilling there. Sometimes I like to high-five him. I pick up his fake skeleton arm and I, I go, high-five Mr. Bones. Is that weird? Is, is that a- If it's weird, then I forget I said anything and that is not true. <laughs> Reminds me, apparently, um, the 24th of the month, there's a special event. Wait, so today there's a special event? Oh, shoot. I thought that was Monday. Wait, can we confirm? Is there a special event in Voices of the Void on the 24th? Maybe we'll switch over after a bit of backpack battling. Yeah, it is a slow burner. Or I'm being lied to. Or I'm being just... I'm being... I'm like a fish on the line. I'm just being drawn in. I'm already hooked. Pretty sure you eeped? Yeah, but... It wasn't at an alien. <laughs> so you're used to skeletons sitting in chairs. One could say that I'm a skeleton sitting in a chair right now, but my skeleton is cushioned by... sinew and bustle and blood and, and skin. But really, like, if you really, really want to just, like, dumb down the human form, I am just a skeleton in a chair, aren't I? <laughs> Let's do a new ranked as the ranger. We're all skeletons piloting flesh mechs. Yeah. Start out with the piggy bank. I'll take a blueberry. I'll take a sword on sale and I'll take a roll. Ooh. A short bow on sale. How can I say to no to that? I can't. I would like to take that banana. Let's see. What am I cooking? A better shape for the piggy bank is what I'm cooking. Oh yeah, let's take the banana for a little bit of stamina, because our stamina usage is high. It's either that or buy the rock and save our money. But if we're going critter build, which I'm I'm probably going to do, just warning you now, I really like the critter build. I just think it's funny to have a backpack full of rats. Can you blame me? I want to be prepared with a bunch of food so I can sustain my little critters. Sure, Halloween prop in quotations. It is a Halloween prop. I don't think it's real. If so, it's very breakable. I didn't know that bones were made of styrofoam. <laughs> How spooky. Yeah, I like to stay in the festive Halloween spirit all year. Oh, you're right. Thank you for reminding me. Look at this. This this was made by Sivan. <laughs> I got my backpack ready. <laughs> also, we should probably um, change over to the overlay here. Yeah, it's Chu! Chu's back from the hospital. It's okay, you didn't need to see the opponent anyway, right? Awesome, yeah, this was made by Sivin. Is Sivin here in chat? Here, I'll, I'll go, I'll, I'll do this. As much as I'd love to show off more of the backpack, I, I'll go down here. I am here! They are there! Check out their 3D models. They're so amazing and they do a lot of little scrim low blim blows. Including me. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Cute and useful and practical. Hello in case you get, in case you get a little eepy. Um, I got reading material, the lusty Argonian maid, I got Chew in case you need someone to talk to. What else do I have here? I have, I have healing potions, I got sunflower seeds, I got swords, I got more swords, I got I got a couple of... If you need a sword, extra peg leg, you never know when you're gonna lose it. Become the loop goblin. <laughs> 
Yeah! Become the loot goblin! Oh no! Where'd my cursor go? Curious. Um, I might have to unfull screen it. Hold on. Ah! Oh! There we go. Okay. Yeah, you can see the opponent still. <laughs> It has an alien gun for the the alien. Yeah, if we come across any aliens, we'll show who's boss. Hold on, let me turn down or uh, turn up the sound. There we go. Yeah, the donkey for sweet dreams. I've never been very travel pillow pillowed, but then again, whenever I'm on a plane. And my neck is on like a 90 degree angle. I always wish that I did in fact bring a travel pillow. You know those weird neck cushions that go around your neck? I just find them supremely uncomfortable. But also not having a pillow is supremely uncomfortable. So I don't know what to do about it. I like to imagine that the backpack is full to the brim with seeds and nothing else. You would be correct. How did you know? Who told you? Who told you this? Okay, all my weapons are in my ranger pack. I should maybe sell one of my swords so I'm not using all of my stamina. Do a little roll. Yeah, that confirms it. We're gonna sell a sword, get another crossbow. Crossbow! I keep calling them crossbows. What's wrong with me? Short bow. As the chatter said, I guess a short bow is just a crossbow that's more manual. Yeah, you can have this. I shall roll. We'll save that backpack space. I will buy this blueberry. Piggy bank can remain where it is. She has dramatic reading of the lusty Argonian maid when. <laughs> I, well, when I was playing Oblivion. I uh, made a joke that I would do it, and then nobody, nobody, nobody reacted. I'm sure there was some eye rolls. <laughs> then I felt all embarrassed that I even said that. Yippee! So probably never. Captain, do you have some snacks in that backpack? Can I have some? I do have snacks, and no, you cannot have any. Take that rock. Turn this into a torch. It's on sale, why not? Give me a roll. Give me a rock. Give me a roll. Let's start, let's save our money. Wait, I could just put my rocks in my pack. Guess I'm not really expecting anyone to have armor right now. But you never know. Um... Uh, is this a pyromancer? Um, please nerf. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's just one bite. Yeah, you can eat this. You can suck on this rock. I'm, I'm sure it's got a lot of sodium. You can... You ever, you ever see, like, um... Deer lick stones? It's just a way that animals like that get a little extra sodium because I guess when you just eat nothing but grass, it's hard to get sodium in your diet. I don't think grass really comes salted. I, I've been to the zoo and sometimes they just like, they're going crazy on a rock. They're just like slurping on a rock. I think they purposely put salt licks into enclosures so that they can get the sodium that they need to survive. These flesh mechs need a lot of different, like, components. A lot of vitamins and stuff. Click. Put that there. Will you put a salt lick in our enclosure? Yeah, sure, I'll get you a salt lick.
I'll get you a salt lick. So, like, when I had a hamsters, you, you could get these little, like, gnaws that were vitamins. That they would chew on. Who's your rock? Who's your roll? Who's your crowd that you control? Can I get a rock and roll? Heck yeah. Let's put this... Right here. Perfect. And I have essentially three dollars in the storage. I guess I could just put those in my backpack. We have the space. She is spoiling her crew again. Yeah, I can get you those vitamin chews. And those little wood nibbles so that your teeth don't get too long. Shiosei, thank you for the raid. Welcome raiders, welcome Shiosei. How's your stream? How you doing? We're doing a little backpack battling. We played a couple of weird games earlier. Very weird. I'm gonna be thinking about that <laughs> tongue parasite musical for just probably years to come. Some things just get stuck in my head. <laughs> you know, some some it's just it's a brain worm. Some things just I never intend them to get stuck in my head, and then I'm just like months later going hee hee skibbity toilet. Just to myself, inside of my head. Something weird like that. Oh, welcome aboard! Welcome, welcome! What were you up to? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to talk about Skibbity Toilet. I mean, I don't even know what that is. I might sell the torch, but... Do I really need more short bows if I can't even get clovers for them? I think I just take more blueberries. Oh, and the box of riches. That's all our money, but I think it pays off quite well. The earlier the better. She's playing Minecraft! Ah, good old Minecraft. Can't go wrong with Minecraft. I used to just adore Minecraft when I was younger, but I don't know if it's the adult onset ADHD. I can't get into Minecraft anymore. The whole point is to make your own goals. But I have a lot of trouble. <laughs> like, I, not only do I keep getting distracted by things, there's like points where I'm just like staring at my little block house. I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> I could spend the next three hours decorating, I guess. I guess, I guess now as an adult, I need more structure. I can't rely on the old noggin to get me through. <laughs> yeah, comfy Minecraft. I love comfy Minecraft. That being said, I love watching people play comfy Minecraft. I think you indeed know what it is. What? Skibbity toilet? What is that? Is that like a new... Are people using that now as toilets? What? That's so crazy. Haha. <laughs> Kids these days, am I right? So, um... Unintelligible. <laughs> what? I gotta pay the phantom tax? What's that? I wouldn't know. Oh, that short bow's on sale. Ooh, but I don't need it. This, it, it uses less stamina. I'm taking it. I'm gonna sell this torch. Yeah, it's less overall damage, but it's also less stamina use. I don't know. Seems suspicious. Seems like she might actually know. For me, it was like brain off and into mineshaft I go. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I do have my brain off games. For sure. Like, Animal Crossing was my brain off game. For like a good, I'd say two years. I was playing it almost every day. I feel like you gotta have time to put into it. You play that for two hours and then come back three days later and forget what the frick you were doing. I also have that issue. If I stop, I just- I don't remember where I was or what I was doing. Who am I in this game? Did I start a family? Do they miss me? There, okay. We'll have one fortunate hope.
Yeah, Goobert's on sale, but has Goobert ever been worth it? Listen, I love this funny man. But I've been a Goobert hater since day one. I think he just takes up a lot of space for very little payoff. And don't get me... Don't go Rainbow Goobert is amazing. I'm sure he is, but the effort to get the Rainbow Goobert is just too much. It's too much, man. Okay. She fucking hates Gooberts. I don't like him strongly. And if not liking something strongly means hating something, then I guess I hate Goobert. No. I'm glad to see a ranger doing so good, though. I mean, they got lucky with the crits. <laughs> I remember exactly what I'm doing. I even remember the whole path I took. Oh, that's great. Wish I had that memory. Give me your memory. Hand it over. Oh, we can get a flawed ruby. Should I get the Wooper Tinger? We're gonna get critters soon, and I know he loves to be with critters. Gives a lot of stamina regeneration and buffs. Which means that we can carry even more short bows. Glowy thingy pretty. Oh, the orb? The mana orb? Yeah, it is pretty, isn't it? Pretty useless. <laughs> I know, so is Wolpertinger right now. Ooh, uh, high five. Just kidding, too slow. Damn, Captain, how could you be so heartless? I mean, I've been playing Dragon's Dogma so quite easily. It, because, like, in Dragon's Dogma, you got your heart stolen by a dragon. You, you, maybe not everyone would get that joke. I will take a blueberry. And let's- yeah, let's save that. Let's reserve that for later. She is rude, but she loves us all, promise. <laughs> it's how I show affection. By being a rude dude with an attitude. Okay. And that's how you can tell that I like Goobert. Because I'm so rude to Goobert. If I didn't like Goobert, I would just ignore Goobert's existence completely. I think we win. Yay. Not even think, we did win. Oh, the Beastmaster Bowl is on sale! But so is Yggdrasil. I'm doing it. I've already prepared for the critter build. How can I not? Okay. So we're gonna put it in like this. I want it to be in the fanny pack and the ranger's bag. Then we can start assembling some foodstuffs just around it. Carrot there. Put this banana here. Okay. That's full use out of the big bowl. And we have a little stamina sack we can just stick up there. Remind me to put my weapons back into my inventory. <gasps> a hedgehog. And a clover. And some more bag space my lucky day. Yeah, let's put that there. I'd love to stuff these into my ranger bag, but I guess with the food bowl where it is, that makes it a little, a little more complicated. Okay, we can afford this hedgehog. Put him there. He's friends with the Whooper Tinger. He's also friends with the Blueberry and Banana. Close, close friends. Put that there. 
Oh shoot, maybe I should have taken the clover. Oh well. Our bag's filling out nicely. Yeah, more friends. Just got a backpack full of friends. I always wanted a pet hedgehog when I was younger. I thought they were so cute. But in Canada, it's not a super... You could still get them at some pet stores, but it's not a... It's not a super common pet. So I never did get that hedgehog. Instead, I had stupid little hamsters. <laughs> Who would want a smelly hamster as a pet? Oh. Okay. Well, we're fighting them early, so I think we do have a chance. Just gotta not get crit and get lucky. Okay, we won. We won. <gasps> Emily, hello. Welcome, welcome. Got my clover. Exactly. Anyways. <laughs> anyways, moving on. Yeah, give me that ruby. Give me a roll. Thank you for the hydration. I refilled my water. Just for this occasion. I should have a take a bite of some food. <laughs> what if I got... <laughs> what if I got just like a bag of trail mix? And along with the hydrate redeem, we have like a... Food bowl redeem? I just have to take a handful of trail mix and shove it in my face. Leather boots are on sale, but I'd rather i rather get more squirrels, and here they are. Look, squirrel is a good friend. Let's give the squirrel another proc there, so I can put these short bows um into the ranger bag. And we can put this banana out here. You know what? I can get a bit more space in the ranger bag. Like this. And we can put the banana here. The carrot there. Cool. Mm, we're missing out on a fubo prop though. Oops. There we go. Oh yeah, someone out there is going for a Sunday rip, bud. <laughs> One thing I know about Canadians is they love going for rips. Sometimes I forget I'm Canadian and then my dad walks in with Tim Hortons. I'm like, oh yeah! <laughs> Oh, 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 wait, yeah, wait a minute. Wait, I don't need this armor potion. Am I just taking it? Ooh, 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 oh. Hmm. I don't think I'm taking it just because. I think I'm taking it so that I can turn it into a stone skin potion so that we can get some armor later. Armor would be great protection for the build we have going on. OMG, yes, hamster munching ASMR. Jerma had the idea to do a hamster stream, but here I am a hamster not even not even doing that myself Oh my goodness now that I have a 3d model What if I did send set up a quote-unquote human-sized hamster wheel? I don't actually need to do that. I just need to get like a PNG and then run in it Where's the redeem to empty your food bowl into your wheel and then sprint in the wheel, scattering the food everywhere? That's a very specific and something that only a rodent um, enthusiast could know. Where's the fall asleep in the wheel option under a pile of wheel food, only to have it stick all over to you? Where's the trail um, rodent poop all inside the wheel so it needs to be like washed every every day? Wait, 
Wait, is the pet... Oh, the pet redeem is not gone. I just forgot to turn it back on. I've been turning it off for the 3D models so nobody gets their points eaten. And sometimes I forget to turn things back on. Oop. It should just work. That was immediate. <laughs> I turned it back on and immediately the button's found. Yeah, there we go. All the pets are for me. We can't take care of our pet. I'm not... <laughs> Why am I a human being? I'm not a pet. I'm not a Tamagotchi. I have autonomy. When I don't stream, I don't just power off. I I sometimes do stare at the wall for way too long, but that's only because of, of decision paralysis, and I just can't decide what to do sometimes. But that has nothing to do with being an NPC. Cringe's wheel had less piss than usual this week. I'm so proud of her. So for her. Yeah, I was always so proud when my hamsters would actually hoard their food in proper dens instead of just like putting it under their wheel and then like getting crud everywhere. I was like, wow, you did it. You did it. You hamstered. <laughs> I really miss having a hamster, but my cat, my cat would disagree probably. And Autumn is currently and forever will be because she will never die. She's my ride or die. As in, um, she won't die. And if she does, I'll die. I love that cat with all my heart. Sure you do, we are so proud. Yeah. Wait. Need a hipster brushing sound effect? See those videos of people brushing hipsters with toothbrushes? Toothbrushes are like little brushes for... Well, I guess it'd be a normal size brush for a little guy like a hamster. Wouldn't it? Okay, we've got another squirrel. I think we should find a way to rearrange these squirrels. Perhaps... Like this. But then the hedgehog. I guess we're back to square one. I think there's a better way to do this. We need to have food in here. And then we uh, put the hedgehog... Here? It's just clear it some bag space. A cleared bag is like a cleared mind. <laughs> Happy teeth grinding like rats do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they do love to nib nibble. If there's one thing I know about rodents, they do love to nibble. Yeah, hamsters do that too. Hamsters also have teeth that just keep growing. I know a lot of rodents do. Beavers are pretty unique with the fact that their teeth have this coating over them to protect them from wood. And the coating is just on the very front, so when they're gnawing on wood, it only breaks down the teeth behind them and causes their teeth to get sharper as they keep gnawing on wood, which is super cool. With each piece of wood a beaver gnaws on, it only gets more threatening. <laughs> You should be afraid. You should fear. Let's put that there. Squirrels, thankfully, have a lot of radius. With the triggers faster. 15% faster for each star. We want our squirrels to get as many stars as possible. But we also want the whooper tinger to get as many stars as possible. We, we also want the food bowl to get plenty of stars. It is all about balance, really. I'll take that clover. We'll just put our little thing there. 
I don't have a potion belt to put this in. Oh, wait. Wait. Wait, now I have a space. Oh. I do have a space. I'm freaking out for no reason. There we go. And we can sell our piggy bank. We don't need it anymore. They don't do it as much as rats. Yeah, they definitely don't do it as much as rats. When I had hamsters, though, the um, cage bars definitely got a little worn down from gnawing sometimes. I'd always try to have those chews available so that they could gnaw on those instead. The cherry wood chews. They smell so good. Unlike hamsters. <laughs> Rodents are very fragrant. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm I'm happy enough with our backpack. I would like some more space. I don't think I'll take the acorn collar. I just like some more space. A oh, ranger backpack. Yes, and some armor. That's why I have the potion. I wonder if there's a way we can get our squirrels... Uh... No... No... Yeah, that's better. That's way better. The Whooper Tinger is happy. The squirrels are happy enough. Although I would like to get more stars on them. Same with the hedgehog. This little blueberry can move right here. Right next to the squirrel. This squirrel's gonna go so fast. Okay. I reserve my money for the holy armor. I wish it were on sale because it's super expensive. Oh, thank you for the lurk. Thank you. Hamsters definitely have a scent. Yeah, it's not just hamsters. I used to volunteer at a pet store and uh, I would just clean the cages. That's how I found out I was allergic to bird dander of all things. Like, I felt, I felt rabid whenever I had to clean the bird cages. I would get so itchy. Like, I, I was like, you ever see those videos of bears voraciously scratching their backs on trees? That's, that's what I felt like, except for it would be like my forearms, because that's where the dander would get. I'd just be like, itch, 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 I mean, like, I swear, I don't have a disease, I don't have a, there's nothing wrong with me, I'm just, it's so itchy. Oh, Shield of Valor. Do I want the Shield of Valor or the Holy Armor? I guess I want the Holy Armor. So that we can proc our Stone Skin Potion. And some space. So I'm not gonna reserve that. There's the space. Let's see, we need one gold to be able to get the stamina pack. And I believe we can cram it in here somewhere. We can cram this piece of armor. I'm gonna sell this rock. We'll cram it right here. Potion there. Wait. If I do that, where am I going to put this? <laughs> Perhaps I put that there. I could just... I could move everything over a bit. Boop, boop. I know that's out of the ranger pack, but... Sacrifices must be made.
There we go. But yeah, I like I like being around animals. The pet store was owned by one of my former scout eaters. That's why I volunteered there in the first place. But it, it closed down quite a long time ago. It was just hard to compete with... Oh, it was like pet, pet value or something. Some huge chain pet store that gets their hamsters shipped in from Montreal all traumatized and most of them deceased by the time that they get here. And the puppies coming from illegitimate sources that, that, that one of one of those pet stores ended up by just overtaking the whole place okay let's go okay. I'm against a pyro and I am scared he is rapidly gaining heat please don't hit 40 <laughs> oh she hit 40 please do not hit 80. <laughs> Just kill her. Just kill her already. Oh my goodness. That would have been bad. Ooh, another carrot. Yum yum. I'd like to see some more clovers so we could turn these into another Fortuna's Hope. What else? I have enough blueberries, and if I can turn that into mana armor, we can we can get the crown, hopefully, and go invincible for a little bit. Save us some hits. It's a good preventative. Okay, let's do a little roll. The bow and arrow. I can't fit it. I don't have the space. Oh, there's a mana orb. We shall put this... Hither. Just gonna drop that for now. Big business pet stores are generally awful. Yeah, for the most part they are. When I lived in Ottawa, the Ottawa Humane Society had a, had a really good setup with a lot of pet stores within the city where pets that were adoptable, cats and dogs that had been rescued and were looking for homes, they would have in said pet stores. That's how I got my cat. That's how I got Autumn. She's one of those rescues that came from the Humane Society. And that way they're like, they're all vaccinated, they get homes, everybody's happy. That there. I guess I don't have room for my box of gems anymore. Let's slot those in. How you got the perfect cat. Not Winston. <laughs> yeah, not Winston. He smells. That's how I got the perfect cat. Was from the Ottawa Humane Society. There used to be a really famous cat colony. In, uh, on the Parliament Hill in Canada. Uh, Ottawa's our capital, capital of Canada, in case you don't know, you might think it's Toronto. Let's, let's get it straight, it's Ottawa. And that's where Parliament is, where all the governmental stuff is done, I guess. There used to be a cat colony there of over a hundred cats. And people would feed them and take care of them, and they were, they were, they were happy, but it, it, like, it was still a cat colony. So the Ottawa Humane Society raised a bunch of money and they went in there and they neutered and spayed all the cats and they adopted them out. And now the cat colony no longer exists. Like, they're a really good humane society. Where I am now, the local one doesn't seem to... They they don't like to take in 
quote-unquote wild cats and they will just call any cat that they find outside wild therefore they end up by not taking them like one of the cats we currently have was a quote-unquote wild cat too wild for our local humane society to take in and he is he's a little purball he just he's so cuddly he's too cuddly and he's too friendly he, he like trips me he like wants into my arms i'm like i can't hold you all the time like a baby you're a grown cat he's very sweet and this was the cat that was deemed too wild for them to take and adopt try to adopt So, I, I think it's just code for we don't want that wild cat. Get it away. I shall roll. Do I, I guess I do need more blueberries. We shall put it here. But then, my clover doesn't have a use. Yeah, he is a cute cat. He looks like a marshmallow. He's like... He's got short hair, but he's really, like, puffy. She a collab with the Auto Humane Society when? I mean, like, if I was to do any charity work, it would be for that humane society. <laughs> Is there on bricks here? How dare. Okay, I am good to go. I'm a bit scared, but we got some armor. Okay, it keeps putting me against Byros. Oh, they got a lot of crit. They will, they just won't stop critting. When I am against the Pyros, I feel, I just fear for my life. Okay. We got moon armor. When it's on me, it's goon armor. Because I, I'm a I'm a goon. I love animals. Yeah! <laughs> who doesn't? I know I know lots of people who are like allergic and they're like, I love animals. And that's like a reason to not. I don't know. People say that they don't like animals i'm like what's wrong with you you can like something and not have to adopt one absolutely goon coated i got that goon armor on i'm ready for this <laughs> uh redacted roll oh yeah more duffel bags is a good thing i'm holding out for that crown that holy crown so we can get a little bit of invincibility, and if we meet another pyro, perhaps it will protect me. Hmm. Why not reserve the discount bag space? Why not uh, stop backseating? High five. <laughs> Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> nice backpack. Thank you. I did not make it. Sivan made it. If someone genuinely dislikes animals, I run the frick away from them. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, there's something wrong. Animals are just little guys. I shall roll. I don't think I could fit another squirrel. Oh yeah, let's move that in there. And I just want the crown. But another duffel bag wouldn't hurt. It'll give us some maneuverability. I want to comment more on backpack battles, but all I can do is ask, is your backpack currently a sandwich, a soup, or a salad? Uh, there's no li- I guess there is liquid. But there's nothing suspended in liquid, so it's not- it's not soup. That's all I know, it's not soup. Now is cereal a soup? Discuss. 
I shall go. Kingdom Heart music. So chill. Yes, next question. <laughs> Ooh, rolling has become more expensive. I think I will just go. Save my gold if I survive. Cold soup. There is cold soup. Uh, gazpacho? That's a cold soup. Cereal? Unless I heat it up. That's a cold soup. What about porridge? Is porridge... Is, is, um... Is overnight oats? Is, is stuff like that? Is that a soup? Wow, we're really going at it. They had a lot of space, though. I have a friend who is allergic to cats, and they snuggle and rub their face in every cat they encounter. They're like, this is my curse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Winston, one of the... Uh, he's a family cat. He likes to pop in sometimes. He's a little bozo. I am- I- I've got like a very slight allergy to him. He makes my eyes itchy. But I still pet him and I still bury my face in his fur. I can't not. Then I pay for it later and I go, why did I do that? And then I go, well, I, you know, it's that face. That cute little cat face. How could I not? The toxoplasmosis has a hold inside of my brain. How can I not cuddle this cat? I don't want any of this. I just. I uh, uh, guess I'll take another duffel bag. I don't know. I don't know. Are all backpacks a wrap by their nature? <laughs> Are you eating leather or something? I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. <laughs> exactly, Buzz, exactly. I ate heated... I, I ate heated the milk from my cereal once as a joke, and not gonna lie, it's surprisingly good. <laughs> heated milk in the cereal. Yeah. Why not? Why does it need to be cold? Uh, Frick Society. Sagi, hey, hello! How are you? How you doing? No, no comment. Uh, next question. I'm not eating leather. Next question. Wink? You can't see me winking with my eye patch, so maybe I'm not... Maybe I'm not winking. Maybe I... Maybe I'm serious. Maybe I'm not serious. Did you know that you can starve to death while just eating stuff like leather? Like protein? I just think... it's it, You need fat to be able to process stuff. It, it's so wild that you can still eat and then your body's just like... You know what? I got two health. I'm going in. Saving my money, because I am I don't want to spend it on that. No, oh, get that off my screen! Is the backpack covering it? Not enough, apparently. I'm Gucci, that's great to hear. I had a nice little rest day yesterday, so I'm doing well. I was playing Dragon's Dogma and getting really frustrated. Now, I... I... Think I'm just gonna take the win here. <laughs> Before things go wrong. Yeah, backpack full of critters. Okay, time to power trip. If you eat only rabbits as meat, you can die from malnutrition. Yeah, I've heard stories of that happening. People going out into the wilderness and just eating protein. And nothing but protein. Well... Shields on sale. Shields on sale. Damn, holy. Herbs are on sale too. If 
banana? No, I, I want to leave some space in my bag. Um, I could try to get... Oh, but I want to start building flames. You know what? Yeah, reserve the spike shield. I'm gonna take one more flame. We've got one gold. Enough to get another flame. We'll have gold next turn to get the walrus tusk. We can merge those up and hopefully we'll get some bag space as well. Let's go! I just want to save my gold right now. I don't want to blow it all. The body needs so many different things, yeah. I mean, like, if you could get inside your own head just thinking about what it takes to keep you functioning healthily, like, the bodies... I don't know how we're here, chat. How are we here? How do humans be? Not to get existential on your ass, but, like, isn't that crazy? Getting frustrated and restful late. Yeah, yeah, I was raging at a video game in, like, a... A healthy-ish manner. As in, I quit when it made me too angry. <laughs> Which I would call a healthy-ish manner. Let's put that there. Oh, do I do want potion. But I want fire. But I want bag space. I'd like to merge the potion early, though. Like, th this is a good get to get early. I'll do a roll and... Oh! I'd have to sell flames if I want it, so I'm just gonna reserve it. I'm going to reserve it. And I guess flames are just like buying rocks. You can sell them for one, you can buy them for one. Just pop it into the bank here. AKA our storage. Draconic Orb is fantastic for later in the game. Maybe not right now, but... You know, what they keep saying in Dragon's Dogma 2, the early griffin gets the worm. Where do they find worms big enough for a griffin to eat? I don't know. It gives me more questions about the lore of the world that I did not get in the first game. I don't remember there being a worm that big. How humans are made? How- me googling. How- how are babies made? You know what? I am going to reserve it. We do have bag space. Those are gonna merge. We are going to be thriving. <laughs> At! Exclamation point. Why is that funny? <laughs> it's just like a video game swear when it's a bunch of symbols. No, please, no! Their healing was too potent! Am I not potent enough? Yeah. No joke. The strong health potions make me so thirsty. Because look at that red liquid slosh around, and look at the symbol. That looks like it's just gonna taste like a strawberry smoothie. Okay, we go with the spike shield. I'm hoping for the whip, because I saw that they slightly buffed the whip. Now I'm even more intrigued. Can I? I can't- I can't even afford that. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. You know what? Maybe let's not get the Draconic Orb right now. Let's hope it- It wraps back around in the future. More bag space! Oh, you know what? Sell the rock. Give me the bag space and then we can fill it with flames. Now we shall be healthy. I think we will win. They have more weapons, but at the end of the day, we got healing, we got, we got lots of buffs. There we go. My rope is powerful. 
I'll buy that rock. I will also buy a roll. Wow, we are swimming in bag space. Mm. Yeah, I'll take the dagger. It's on sale. It will go. It will turn into a molten dagger. More bag space. Okay, let's go. I'm still holding out for the whip. Did I see any? Did I roll past Cole? Or did I just not see any? Oh, sometimes you just get rolling and don't stop. I told you, Chad. I started taking, for the first time in my life, consistently multivitamins, and I feel like a god. <laughs> I, last week, I haven't been feeling very well, but like in general, I feel a lot better. How much armor? This doesn't. This doesn't give us any armor. Uh, let's take a coal. Stick it in. Make it a torch. Maybe we'll get another coal. Mm. Raptor crystal is pretty nice. And then we can maybe start building some helmets. Again, I would like the whip though. Saw that it was buffed. I could keep rolling for it. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna keep rolling for it. Could build a flame spear, but I'm sorry, I'm I'm fixated now. Oh, banana on sale. Okay, I'm selling my rocks, buying this banana on sale. Having the gold left over for a flame. Um, this chili pepper. I could I saw that they slightly buffed the chili goobert as well. Which, if I had to choose a Goobert, Chili Goobert, he's not bad. He's not terrible. If I, if I had him on my team, I wouldn't mind that much. Also, some heat generation. There's also gold I could be using. Yeah. I'm hoping we're gonna be okay, unless they crit a little too hard. Oh, I'm a bit scared. Oh, my life is a little threatened. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. That was a little close for comfort. I am discomfortable. Okay, that torch is gonna be lit up. We shall put the banana there. Yeah, not even... <laughs> Ooh, not even close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not at all. <laughs> Punchy emo. I love the wolf punch. <laughs> get him, get him! That's me right now. Punching fast, but maybe a little impotently. Uh, I, I could always use more backspace. I'm, I'm a bit scared. I'm a little scared right now. Get that off my screen. No! Don't look! <laughs> oh, the chibis are so weird in this. Why? Why? Just... That's fine. That's fine. Any anything to get me out of here faster. Okay. What can we do here? Flame shield. Is something that we could, in fact, do. Spiked shield is... 
I was gonna keep it around for the whip and hopefully, like, there's a way to do the spike build as the pyromancer. And I thought it sounded interesting. Instead of just doing the old tried and true, oh, get the dragon dust, oh, get a bunch of dragons. Oh, you won! You know? But flame shield, good. And that allows us to go crusader. You know what? I, sh I I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Sun shield. That's what it's called. What the her healing must have been insane. Yeah. <laughs> A little nutty. I did what the, I did like what they had going on in their backpack for sure. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. I was like, what is that for a second? It looked like a like a fruit. That was a sword on fire. They already have the phoenix, which is a little frustrating. But also, if I had seen the phoenix, I probably would have taken it this early as well. Okay. Oh, I saw that they really, really buffed the cryomancer. But I don't know how to use this yet. Start a battle, gain 15 armor for each star the item has. Um, 7 he gained. Inflict 2 cold for each cold your opponent has. Um, the... What do you call that shape again? A, a square turned on its side? Item has 2% critical hit chance and 2% critical damage. Ice items are offered in the shop. Maybe I should take it just because we haven't before. And I don't really have... I'm not committed to a build right now. Let's do it. Let's... <laughs> At least goes with the sun shield. At least the sun shield gets 12 armor from it. Okay, ice items can appear now. Oh, maybe I should get the potion belt to just stick my strong health potion into. Oh. And any other potions we might get. Mm -mm -mm. Needs to be bigger. She keeps asking for more space. I need more space. I need to make the backpack bigger. For a moment, I thought the little line between the flame and the torch was a straw. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like burning. Okay, can we talk about how molten lava looks like... The most delicious liquid on this planet that you can only drink once? My hungry ass would not last 10 minutes on a volcanic surface. We shall roll. We shall um, roll, hopefully. Hopefully, push his fingers together. Ice item. Oh, frostbite. Cool. And bag space. That's 11. We'll get 10 if- and then we could sell- okay. Let's do that. Then we can put this here. Put that there. Hmm, do I- do I- I probably want to get a diamond on that. Yeah. Not just a star. This is my only potion right now, so I'm just gonna pop it right there. Oh, the sun shield doesn't get proxies with the spike shield. Okay. Good to know. So, what does the frostbite do? It does one hit 70% chance to inflict cold. Deals plus one damage per vampirism. 
Oh. Oh. Okay, so we want to try to get some vampirism. Or we want to fight vampires? Is that it? One damage per vampirism and 0.5 per cold of your opponent. Of your opponent. Okay. Opponent reaches 30 cold, gain 5 vampirism. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. <laughs> it looks like yummy tabby. See, this this crew member gets it. You get it. You, it. It looks like taffy, doesn't it? Sing with a molten glass. It looks like candy. And if nature didn't want me to be eating it, then why does it look like candy? Mods, what did she mean by this? I, it means that I would be there with my silly straw slurping up some lava in Hawaii. Hot sauce that comes in a drink pouch shaped like a fireball with a little slot for punching a straw through it. Capri Sun? I don't think we have those here. At least I've never seen them. We got that Sunny D though. You know the... The juice that like somehow... Manages to taste complete- The orange drink that tastes completely unique and like plastic. Orange flavored plastic. Oh no, that crit was so huge! World's biggest crit! My backpack has no backpack feng shui. The whip is here. That's so angering. Why didn't you show up sooner? We do have another potion. And it's on sale. Do I have, do I have enough? 8, 10, 11. Okay. I love me some Terraria penal tunes. Okay, when you describe it as taffy, that does make more sense. I'm getting deja vu. Did I talk about eating lava before? Did we just talk about this? Did I dream that I talked about it? I have a sense of coming back to my body like I've been here before. That's the best description of Sunny D I've ever heard. When I was young, I used to love Sunny D, probably because it was just sugar. And when you're a kid, your brain is like, I need that for some reason. But like now, it, one sip is enough to like knock me out, probably hospitalize me at this point. Uh, Chia builds the weirdest build ask to leave. No, that doesn't work there. Okay. But I'm gonna keep it there anyway. Wait, does this count as a... Hmm. I think it's just frozen items, which I haven't been seeing a ton of. No, I want these to be together. Put that there. Blink. Blink. Okay, wish me luck. I'm gonna save my money. Just like and buy that bag space. I could buy it now. I don't really need to. We're just gonna go. I think you did like a week ago. Did I? I'm sorry. Turns out that I just really want to eat lava. <laughs> Finding this out about myself. You really do find out a lot about yourself when you become a Twitch streamer. It'd be on brand. Yeah, I know it would be at least on brand. No! No, no, kill- No! Not me! That was so close. Please, I just want to build weird little builds. Why are they- why are they trying to stop me? I'm just a little guy. Who could have beef with a little guy like me? Sometimes, you just gotta get lost in the backpack building. Why is the shopkeeper betraying- I know, he's betraying me! This little <laughs> adventure quest looking ass over here? You better listen here, punk. I better see a frozen item. 
this bastard. I'm gonna roll again. I would love to take the stamina sack, but at this point we just gotta live. I'm gonna roll again. I better get another frozen item. They don't exist. <laughs> this bastard! This little bastard! I hate him. His smug aura mocks me. Chat smiling and nodding while Chia tells them about eating lava for the fifth time this week. <laughs> well, if I did talk about eating lava before, I'm sorry. Spell scroll frost bolt, deal five damage, inflict four cold for three seconds. Max use is three, increased by each star. Finally! They do exist. Cold items do exist. That's only 12 armor. Hmm. Um, the stone helmet would be great, but I don't really have enough gold. I don't know. Don't know about that one. I think I just might do a little start. See how, uh, see how this unfolds. Fire. This is what I get for uh, going off script. Oh! The crit! No, stop, please! Never crit like that again. No! Okay, thank goodness they attacked once in a blue moon due to the hammer. Yeah, but holy moly, that was a little freaky. A little scary. Little Rolly, where where are the frost items? More space. More roll. Um, rock. Roll. I would take definitely the stone skin potion, but I don't have 45 armor. Oh, another one. Okay. I can cook with this. Now this I can cook with. Okay, we want this to touch the scrolls, to touch the scrolls. Oh, the scrolls don't like touching each other, fair enough. We could put this... Like... That. Like, uh, hmm. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get them all to touch who they like to be touching. I can't put Kelly next to Max because they're gonna fight. But I can't have Timmy separated from Kelly because then they'll cry. Are you cooking a soup or frying a sandwich right now? Right now? Um, neither? Neither? Sorry, I don't know why that turned into a question. I guess I got really in on my head like, am I? <laughs> am I doing that? Am I not? Psyching myself out. It's starting to come together. Yeah, it's starting to come together. I just... My bag doesn't have the nice bag feng shui that I would like it to have. But I don't think I could get this to talk. Uh, I couldn't get the sword to touch the diamond and also have these two scrolls touching both the frozen flame and the sword. So I'm just gonna leave it like, like that. Yeah, okay. I'm happy enough with that as is. Just stick those up top. Okay, yeah, it's starting to come together. Tia checks her inventory to see if she accidentally bought a soup pot or a panini grill. <laughs> when I was a student, I lived off of my panini press. That was the way of me having like hot sandwiches and feeling like I was eating actual bougie food on like a student budget. I would make... I would make fancy grilled cheeses with that. 
much to my stomach's chagrin, I would I would slap some bread in there, some nice uh, whole wheat bread, and put some nice cheese in there, and I'd be like, mm, yeah, it's not just a grilled cheese. This is a panini pressed grilled cheese. It's fancier. So tasty. I'll turn my frying pan into a drying pan. Oh, why don't you have this jelly donut I saved for you? Okay, I'm scared. I'm hesitating. I, I just gotta go. We're out of gold. Out of time. Alright, a berserker. Can I take him? It's coming together. Oh my god, crew. It's all starting to come together. I'm finally feeling a little bit confident. Come on, finish the job. Just just finish. It's going on way too long. Oh. Him hoy. <laughs> Thank you for the pity, Slaughter. Discord called jump scare. I don't think I'm generating enough heat to take a phoenix. I think we'll just roll. It's always fun to see who that gets. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's one Zerk that has been offed. Take that. Well, thought it was that ping song for a second there. Yeah, they, sometimes they do throw it into songs. Ah. Uh. I donated ten dollars. <laughs> uh, thank you, whoever you are, mysterious A. Maybe someone started typing out their name and just got as far as the A before entering. I've done that before. I've sent emails like that and I always feel so embarrassed. You ever do that? You just, you start typing and then mid-sentence you accidentally hit the enter key and you send. And you're like, oh. <laughs> Thankfully things like Discord let you edit your message, but like not everything lets you do that. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you for the tip. I really appreciate it. All the dang time, and then you got an asterisk, uh, a rest of your sentence, and then send a little sorry. Sent it early. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to confuse you with like half a sentence there. Writing, I'm afraid we'll have to reschedule, but hitting s <laughs> after sending afraid, <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> oh no. Now they think you're scared. And yeah, then everyone's like typo in the group chat and it's just you have to leave, you're forced to leave. You can never show your face around these parts ever again. It's just so embarrassing. Please see the attach file. Attaches nothing. <laughs> I do that all the time. I've sent assignments this year that is like, I have attached my essay below. And then my ass forgets to attach the essay. I'm like, I really hope the teachers don't think I'm trying to get a little extra time. I am, in fact, just that stupid. <laughs> we all are sometimes. I've sent an email saying hell instead of hello. <laughs> oh my god, I'd be terrified if I got an email out of nowhere that just said hell. I'd be like, what? Am I going there? Is this a threat? Should I be scared? <laughs> Oh, hello. Okay, that's much more innocent. Yerky. Yerky in the group chat. <clears throat> Repositioning for gamer mode. Alright. Gamer gamer mode stance achieved. I shall roll. Another frostbolt scroll. There's gotta be... There's gotta be other frost items, right? Besides just the scrolls and the sword. Can't just be these ones. This can't be it. But maybe it is. Look, they're pointing to something. Yeah, I want it pointing that way. That just feels better. It's great when you start typing something and accidentally send an incomplete message. That's something horrifically embarrassing. <laughs> And then I'm like, I swear it's it's not it's not what you're thinking. I'm sure whoever they are, the uh person is cool. Yeah, whoever you are, uh, you're super cool. 
I've attached my essay below, and it's a picture of Chia by accident. You ever accidentally send your, your teacher a picture of a VTuber? <laughs> I think the more embarrassing part would be the teacher trying to hide the fact that they know. That's what I fear about being like um, a person in the current age who is going to who is going to mature and maybe possibly be teaching the next generation. I'm going to have to pretend I don't know what a lot of things are. Like I'm going to have to pretend that I don't know what a skibbity toilet is. And there's going to be new things after that that I'm going to have to pretend I don't know. Yeah, let's reserve that bag. I need more bag space. But I'm going to save my gold. Hiya. I write almost all my emails before I enter the recipient. That's so smart. That's so smart. I uh, The only times I do that is by accident when I forget to write the recipient. And then I press send and the, the, I'm get prompted by Gmail like, Who the heck are you sending this to? I'm like, oh. I forgot. Oh, a nice dragon! He seems like a nice dragon. There is more frost items. You little, you little bozo, you've been holding out on me. Well, let's strike him with lightning. Yeah, I'm nice to meet you. I'm on one health because of you. I'm blaming purely the shopkeeper. My blood is on your hands. Okay, let's... Try to reorganize this a little bit. Get get all the get all the flames out of here for now, so we can have some thinking space to work with. There we go. Okay, let's move these up into the fanny packs. Can move that down. Is this a six by two? Ooh. Um, I can make it- I can make it work. We can make this work. It's going to be strange. <laughs> like, my backpack is a weird shape. I know, the backpack feng shui is really off. Pyromancer? More like, um, diromancer because I'm building ice and I'm not a pyro anymore. Client goes, why have you sent me some weird fiction about some Japanese sounding cartoon person dating a Russian czar instead of your essay? <laughs> Could you send me your marketing report? That is my report, Teach. Really, you just don't understand. It's quite profound. <laughs> yeah, what if your teacher is secretly a VTuber? My, uh, my teacher is my Oshi. My boss is my Oshi. We already, we already created this hypothetical manga. Ah! The shield likes the dragon! And I believe dragons are also... I guess this one's a shield. It doesn't like it because it's holy. It's godly. Oh, the sun shield's godly. I thought it was. I'm getting it so twisted. I mean, I know what these items do. Okay, we got it touching that. We got this touching those. We got these touching these. We got frost in our pack. And a smile on our face. Now let's see if we can get the rest of this crumbed inside our pack. Uh, oh, uh, no. No, stay. Stay, boy, stay. I died and reincarnated in a world where my Oshi is secretly the big bad and I have to defeat her with the power of bribery? Full title? You could tell me that that exists and I'd be like, probably. <laughs> but why do I watch to hear about this hypothetical manga? Yeah, probably... When was that? Probably when we were playing Super Auto Pets. I could not pinpoint exactly when. I can't even pinpoint what I was doing this morning. Okay, let's go. Let's see how this ice build pops off. I'm super excited.
There we go, and I spilled too. They got like a big frozen bugler. I was like, why do they have a snowball in their inventory? Wow, we're popping off now. We're finally, it's working. It's all coming together. What would make it more perfect? Um. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. More ice items, please. Or not, you know, you can you can not give me ice items. I could just take more potions. That's on wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh yeah, the frostbite sword it it likes vampirism. And it's on sale. I immediately judged it, which I should not have. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, we might have to sell some stuff. I'm gonna sacrifice some flames. Blink. 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 Okay. Does that... Okay, I don't think it has any... I don't think it fits into any stars. No, okay, we're good. Oh! Wait, I didn't even know that this was a recipe! Vampiric potion! Let's do it! Strong health potion and a blood amulet. Yeah, those are those really fancy potions. I never built them because I haven't... I haven't committed to a vampiric build yet. A uh, birch. Speaking of the next generation, I keep seeing, like, one of the stupidest TikTok feuds I've ever seen just pop up. Everywhere I go, where I try to ignore that sort of stuff, it keeps popping up. But it's just- it, it's just- Millennials and Zoomers fighting again. Come on, guys. We're the same. We're in the same boat. Can't you see? This is what this is what we did with the previous before us generation. Oh yeah, we're popping off so hard. Okay, we got that vampiric potion. A corrupted crystal in my sword, and it's on sale. Don't mind if I do. I shall roll. But it's just so silly. Like, people are so obsessed with appearance online, and it's just... Millennials calling the younger generation old looking and then like the younger generation is like you're old looking and it's just Come on It's okay to look old I can't wait to truly embrace hag them Make me wrinkly Also, smile lines are super cute. The haggiest. Yeah, make me the haggiest. I want folds upon folds upon folds. You aren't already. <laughs> no, I still have baby face. I, I got carded in liquor stores. That being said, one time I got carded in a liquor store, I was wearing a Pikachu hat. I was asking for it. But like, I'm almost 30. Can, can you not card me anymore, please? Can I just not have to carry it around everywhere? I mean, you probably should be carrying your license around, but I don't even have a car, so like, there isn't really much of a reason for me. Every generation is doomed to fight each other. That's what it seems like. It's just, it's full circle. Ever since the term 
generation has been coined. I forget which philosopher in like ancient Greece, but that's one of the first like written down notions of like some an older generation person referring to the younger generation as a younger generation and not understanding them. Thousands of years it's been going on. Let's reserve that fanny pack. I'm very happy with this build. I'm not happy with our health. <laughs> Schrodinger is heck. Yeah, you're gonna look at me and be like, is she 14 or 40? I can't tell. Is she a brat or is she a hag? Alvi was asking about hag. She was doing hag research for some reason. But I think the reason we're seeing more hags on Twitch is just we're growing older. And uh, the hags are savvy at streaming and thus we're here. <laughs> Dude, Gia being a hag is great. I can't wait for you to get here. I can't wait to be there. I cannot wait. I don't feel like I belong to any generation. Yeah, I'm a gap baby. Like, I can choose whichever side benefits me at this moment, because I was born in late December. I'm literally a gap baby, so if I want to be like, yeah, those Zoomers, I can do that. If I want to be like, yeah, those Millennials, because I'm right on the cusp. <laughs> but that, that only makes it more confusing, because just being on the cusp, I'm like, can't you see? We're all in the same boat, why must we fight? I want to go into survival mode, but like 14 points is a lot, but I like our build. I'm just, I'm going to take the win. I know that's the smart decision. Yeah, I think a lot of my viewers are like a similar age to me. Something like, um, birds of a feather fly together. Hello, Winston, is that you? <laughs> Autumn. It's my sweet baby girl. She's here to eat some plastic. Oh, you're here to see me? Hi. <laughs> she doesn't like coming in and she doesn't like coming into my office while I stream because I'm loud. <laughs> but she also likes to hang out with me. Oh hey boy, hello. <laughs> Let's go into ranked again. I I'm in gold, I'm feeling good. I kind of want to try the ice build again. I don't think we had enough time to cook it. Wasn't there a clay tablet or something about someone going, This new freaking generation is doomed. Yeah, I think that's exactly the one I'm thinking about. <laughs> the fall of civilization because the next generation is eating avocado toast and watching Skibbity Toilet or something. And I see it happening again with the Zoomers calling Gen Alpha cooked. It's like, the cycle continues. They're still in diapers and you're, call you're saying their brains are cooked? You haven't even given them a chance. It's true. Sorry, I just had to let Autumn out. She came in and the door closed behind her and she could not find out how to open it again. <laughs> Artem. Yeah, I'm in my mid-twenties, so pretty close to the big captain egg. Yeah, you're close. Yeah, I, I swear, my chat's like the same age as me. When people describe millennial lives, it feels, I'm like, yeah, wow, that's really accurate. When people see millennials fighting with Zoomers, I'm like, what the frick is happening? I know, it's like, either way, we can't own houses. <laughs> We're in the same boat. Born into the same time. Let's make that a torch. Ooh, it's hard not to take the dying ban when it's on sale. 
So I will, and maybe we'll get some chili peppers. Or maybe I'll just, like, take what food we can afford. Yeah, but to be fair, this is more of a threat. <laughs> they will cook their brains. Yeah. I'm gonna cook my brain. My brain's cooked. <laughs> the Gen Alpha is doing just fine. My brain is cooked. Oh yeah, give me that bag space. On sale. Okay. Wait, why? I don't need to reserve the rock. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Autumn smarts went into being cute, and she's so right for it. That is so true. You don't need to be smart when you're that cute. She's smart in, like, a feelings way. You heard it here first, folks. Pyro Hamster cooks her own brain. Horrifying. I like it. Let us roll. Take our bag space. I'll just plop this rock in here. Whoa, the rock is doing the longest fall ever. Um, I could roll once more or I could just... I'm gonna save my gold. We're going to go. <laughs> Nice backpack. Mind if I set it on fire? Please? 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 Deal with this person, please? Oh, the one HP wing! Ah! You'll love to see it. Let her cook. <laughs> Later. Who let her cook? Let's put this here, here. Surround this pan with food. Double frying pan used to go so hard. I remember the days of double frying pan, but I have a torch now. My stamina usage is already a little high. Put the torch in the fanny pack. Maybe I take the piggy so I can start generating a bit more gold. And I'm gonna sell this rock so I can turn it into a fire. Alright, let's go. Perfectly calculated. Absolutely calculated. The trick is to pretend you know what you're doing. And if anyone calls you out on it, you say, uh, um, actually it's calculated. Then you hard-headedly stick to it. Pineapple. You know what? Give me that pineapple. this piggy bank to work. I just gotta... Oh, frick. I can't have the uh, piggy bank working, but also getting three stars and also having the torch in the fanny pack. Oh well. I tried. I'm gonna save my gold here. Mm, I don't think I want to build a flame spear. Whoa! I punched my phone. Music's going wild. Yeah, it's going. It's going hard right now. Birds flying high, more like birds dying nigh. <laughs> Yay, more bag space. Oh, holy armor and early too. Oh, uh, Bob, thank you. I love this game so much. So strong. 
good one. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here um all week. All month, in fact. Perhaps even all year. Okay, how am I gonna fit this? I could I could force it. I could sell some of my flames and I could force getting the holy armor in early. I think that would benefit us. Okay, let's try this. Just gotta get some space for it. Sell a couple of flames. Now we can turn that into sun armor. Piggy bank isn't gonna get his stars anymore. At least until we get some more bag space. Okay, here we go. It's always scary to see, uh, see a Zerker with the axe, but we're early enough for them to not crit huge. I believe. I believe. Alright, we're keeping our health early. We're getting into a comfortable state. Stick some flames here. Um, I could try to get some more procs for the... For the sun armor, but I think having it next to the torch in the fanny pack is good enough. Okay, what do we have here? What can we cook with? In terms of weapons, we could try to build something like the pandemonium. Or I could sell it and pick up something like the hungry blade. Because picking up the hungry blade, if we do go with the frost build, which I would like to spend more time with. If we do go cryo mage. Hungry blade with the other, with the frost sword. It seemed to go good together. In theory. Also, vampirism, that heals us. That's nice. Love some self healing. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we take it. I'm not gonna sell my torch. I'm probably gonna sell the pan. Little known fact Streamers and hipsters do both live on stages and tell jokes 24 7. Little known fact, um, streamers live about as long as real-life hamsters. I want this game so bad, it's not even healthy. Is the demo still available? Like, I think you- If the demo's still available, hopefully you can play the first two classes. But yeah. It was free, the demo was free. But... Now it's about 10 bucks. Which for the game it is, I think that's a really fair price. I also understand that some people might want to wait for a sale. Okay, let's sell this pan. Buy this sword. Now we can start putting more flames around our armor. I just stick that in the corner. I don't think that it's going to proc off of anything just yet. Uh, there. Okay. There we go. Oh, I got the food is creating a little circle around the piggy bank. It's like it's encasing him. You did everything. I mean, it's one of those games you can just go on forever. That one hurt surprisingly hard. Wait, what hurt? Are you injured? Do I need to send a ambulance? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna save my money. Let's just... We'll roll. Yeah. I'm gonna save my money. I also kind of want the box of riches. I can't have everything, though. Yeah, let's just go. Save money. Next turn, buy more bag space. Hope we see box of riches again. And we're in a position to purchase it. 
Another big axe. A little scary. Hopefully they won't have the crit to back it up just yet. They do have one spiked collar. Oh, uh, maybe they don't even need crit. They just needed to get going. They just needed to zerk. Soon as they started zerking, it was all over for me. Yeah, this game is so fun. So true. Oh yeah, streamers and hamsters having the same lifespan. I'm sorry. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt. I do need to send the ambulance. But in this genre of streaming, for sure, I feel like VTubers, at least... At least in the agency scene, don't seem to last as long as... I don't know, just an observation. Indies last as long as they want to. I got that stamina. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Uh, do we go for the sun shield? Perhaps. That would go with our sun armor. Maybe we can go for like a little... Um, a little... But we could go Crusader, but I've been planning on going Cryo again. I just want to. You know what, piggy bank? No. Garlic? No. Do I need two bananas? Do I need a pineapple? It's healing. How about I sell a banana and I could buy the shield? This isn't the best place for the sun armor to be, but it allows our shield to become a sun shield. Uh, these complex shapes are getting to me. <laughs> there we go. Complex shapes such as um, single square, two squares, sometimes even an L-shaped square pattern. You can't get rid of us. My crew is like fleas, and even if I wanted to get rid of you, would I? I like having little friends biting me all the time. Captain, I'm thinking of becoming a VTuber and your direct competitor to take you out. <laughs> <laughs> to take me out? That that would be surprisingly easy. Um, a cardboard box with a piece of cheese on a plate propped up by a stick with a long string attached ought to do it. I guarantee I will fall for it. Our hitman. <laughs> no, wait, no. I'd rather have the torch in the fanny pack, honestly. You just gotta trust there's probably method to my madness. Perhaps. Me in my 60s retired with a bunch of cats and dogs in my cozy country home. The funny internet hamster is streaming weird games. <laughs> I'm gonna be so decrepit. I'll be Skyrim grandma, but like... Skyrim... 10. Actually, at the rate we're going, maybe we'll see Elder Scrolls 6 by the time I'm 80. Become a bird of prey, swoop down upon you like an animal planet documentary. Wait, wait, no, wait. Okay, Crusader would just be perfect for what we have going on already, but... Frozen Flame. I just, I, I want to spend more time with it. I haven't had enough time with it. And this little bastard isn't giving me enough frost items. Oh, it's on sale. No, I should have gone Crusader. You, you bastard. You little. <laughs> Why can't you give me sale on like um, a frost dragon or something? Why does it got to be a holy armor? Don't say that. I want to play it too. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Wish you all a long life. Yeah, I wish that we all live to see Elder Scrolls 6. That's my one wish. Okay. This hungry blade can touch this. Yeah, the shield does like to go next to that, but that doesn't care about that. Um, we'll put the torch in that fanny pack. There we go. Okay, we've got some heat items around our sun armor. I'm really, really, really tempted with the holy armor there. Like, you have no idea. You have some idea. But you have no idea. <laughs> Gets released in 2026. So chat, you can die now. <laughs> yeah, it's released now. You can die. You're free from this mortal coil. Captain N. Oh, I already read that. Hegtuber streaming, 30 plus years. How long has Derma been going? Like, I know he's gonna be retiring. Um, this year? This year. Wow. Wow. Matt Pat's gone. Wow! Oh my god, all the people I... NL better go on forever. I've been watching NL since I was like in middle school or something. Before Isaac. Be I'm like an old head. I'm an old, old head. I was in diapers when I started watching Northern Line. With my unfettered internet access. Wait, what? Germa boy's retiring? Yeah, he's retiring from streaming, but he's gonna he's gonna do behind the scenes projects. So he's not truly retiring, but he is retiring. It's complicated. But also so easy. I want the holy armor it's on sale! Ah! How much does it sell for if I purchase it? Seven? Okay, I'll get my money back if I go, actually, I don't want this. I am upset. Okay, I think we can make space for this. We just have to play it cool. I'll put that there. Put this here. Yeah, at least the flame is touching the torch there. Oh! Right. I need to do that. Uh, I'm gonna stick my garlic here and that there. I could take the piggy bank as well. Or I could sell it. Or I could take it. Or I could- I'd rather have the garlic. I'd rather have the garlic. Yeah, she was watching NL since two years ago. That's right, I am only, in fact, two years old. Uh, don't ban me, Twitch! No, that was, that was a joke. That was, uh, my channel is two years old. My channel is two years old. I am a mature adult. My resume says HEG on it. So, do, so does my Twitch tag. Okay, let's go. Higher. Day zero of no frost items. <laughs> Any Twitch admins watching Goo Goo Gaga? Stop! Stop! You're gonna disappear me. She retires. She is like, immediately I gotta double my streaming hours for no particular reason. Jerma wishes he was this sprightly and with it. This bag has a lot more feng shui going on. I take the pepper, but again, I need frost items, and I'm not, I'm not seeing them. Oh, book of ice! Every three seconds, use two mana to inflict three frost. Ten percent chance to cast a spell scroll for free. Oh, can I afford? I can. Does this prop with anything? Probably just other frost items. We'll stick it there, because at least our frozen flame will get a star. We'll put that fanny pack on reserve. 
Chia, your word of the day is sprightly. My word of the day I've been saying for many days. It's word of the lifetime. I really like your streams, Captain. Just throw that out there. Thank you. I really like streaming. So thank you for being here. I really like your... I really like your art. I really like your stuff. I like the cut of your giblets. Uh, Shrimply, I was fighting a pyromancer. What could I do against that? <laughs> the biggest cloak. Okay. That uh, frost frost book. Uh, I want frost book. Oh, uh, I gotta sell stuff. It doesn't proc with any. Huh. We maybe move this over one. Move this over here. No, that doesn't accomplish what I wanted it to. Yeah, that's fine. It's in the fanny pack once. Alright, we're good to go. I've just been getting stupid books of ice. <laughs> Chat, do you think you could win a knife fight against a Twitch admin? I could easily win a knife fight against a lot of people because I've taken knife fighting classes and that's not- It's not a diss on your abilities, just like I am trained. A trained- I'm a trained killer. So easily I could fight a Twitch admin. Come on! No, they stole all my buffs! Or no, no, they- they pricklied themselves. And then prickled me. Chia has killed and will kill again <laughs> in Minecraft. Well, what happens if a hamster has a taste for human flesh? Would you really put a little guy down? Okay, this book loves mana. I think maybe we take a mana orb so that we can get some more mana generation. It also goes with this sword here to become the man of thirst it's ooh, I'm, I'm such a thirsty little sword you gotta give me a mana orb you gotta give me some mana ooh me look a hot tub admins where <laughs> group admin gooning starts in five minutes flesh eating hamster teaming up with the invincible snail Oh, it's, that's the scariest combination I've ever heard. Okay, here we go. That's the number one of knife fight class. Don't get into knife fights. That's that's literally it. With any self-defense, they'll tell you the best way to defend yourself is not to be in that situation. And to find a way to escape that situation without... Ooh, ooh I did so much damage to them initially, but now... Ah! I'm sorry. I'm lost in the sauce of combat. I'm just getting obliterated now. Once again, I am going to blame the shopkeeper because he hates me, and he hates me going frost build. <gasps> Whoa! Wait! Hungry Blade? Goes with the frost bolt? Wait, that's so cool! Uno momento, Sivu's plays. We have to build this, don't we? Do I have the gold? Seven, four, if I sell this... Three, I can, I can, I can afford it. Don't fight with knives, become a pyromancer. Fight with your mind. Sci send psychic energy out to defeat your opponents. I don't mean have an intellectual battle. I mean, psychically blast them with negative energy and maybe they'll feel kind of just a bit crappy that day. <laughs> Trust me, this works 30% of the time. Okay, mana thirst. What? I'm a thirsty little sword. You have to feed me mana. I don't like the feng shui of this bag. Let's rearrange. I've decided I hate it. I'm even gonna just move my fanny packs to a better location. 
such as just stacking them up. Okay. Every item in my possession. Let's put that there. Scroll goes here. Let's move this over. Actually, let's put it here. That's gonna turn into frostbite. Okay, yeah. And this can just go wherever. Pineapple. Sword. There. That's a bit... That's, that's better backpack feng shui, I'd say. Oh, except for I don't have... Prey. My sword isn't touching. Well, let's rectify that. We'll put that there. That's still better backpack feng shui. Yeah, literally day one of any. Every time, every time you take like a self defense class or martial arts, they start off with like, okay, before we get started, the best thing to do is run away, run away as fast as you can, and call the police because the worst way to get injured is to actually engage. I'm scared of the virile tag? It just means full of life. I'm full of spunk. Ask any crew member here, they would say I'm in fact a very spunky person. <laughs> Kill me, him away, hello! Also Alice, him away! What about spunk? I'm full of it. Uh oh. They got a phoenix, kill them now before they gain any more heat? Actually, they do have kind of crappy heat generation. I don't think we need to worry about the phoenix. They got one heat. What's that gonna do? <laughs> Nothing. Frostbite! Uh. Frostbite, man of thirst. Ooh, so thirsty. Corrupted crystal would be a nice get for our weapons. I like how our stamina use is still low. Yeah, I got some vampirism going on. Nice, nice, nice. Stick that in frostbite. Um, I guess we just go. I want to fill my backpack with more items, but I guess we got a lot of heavy hitters. Uh oh, this field scares me. Stone armor just freaks me out a little bit seeing it on a... Just seeing a reaper like that, I'm like, they're gonna try and, um, they're gonna try to wait this one out. Okay, thank goodness. They went poison build. They went heavier into the poison build than the fatigue. Gee, I love your backpack. Where did it come from? Sivan made it. Sivan made a 3D model of me. A beautifully sculpted 3D model. Put me in a cow suit, put me out in a field to get abducted by aliens and gave me this backpack. She's got spunk. She's got the juice. I got it. I got it. I lost it. I got it. Wait, I get a lot of mana. I think it'd be fun to go invincible. Now I want to put this here, but our armors are kind of... Maybe if I do that. Oh, we're gonna lose 12 armor if this isn't touching it. But at the same time, we get the crown rocking both of these. Works 2% faster. Oh, maybe that doesn't matter that much. Maybe we, maybe we go back to the way it was. Just touching one is good. Put 
put the pineapple off by itself. The pineapple's just existing. It adds a little bit of heal. It's kind of cool. Hmm. Maybe I move my frost stuff up a bit. Or maybe. How do I do this? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'm gonna save my gold and we're ready to go. Maybe I will keep cooking. Even though we don't have a lot of health. Rut row. Chibi spotted. Her entire crew is based, except that one guy. Yeah, we all we all know who that one guy is. But yeah, everyone else is super cool. <laughs> you know who you are. Well, if we continue, I can get more, but I can also just cut my losses here and take the 13. You know what? I'm not done cooking. I like our build. I adore it. I got... Oh, shit. Another book. How many spell books and pieces of armor does one individual need? I could take another holy armor and turn it into another sun armor. Which would be kind of funny. Or I could take another book. They use two mana. How much mana gain do we have? I wish I had an easy way to see this. We got... I got Mana Thirst, which does gain us enough mana to use these two books, but three books might be a little too Mana Thirsty, even for Mana Thirst. Hmm. And also, we want to be able to keep our mana so we can steal life. Based on vampirism. So yeah, I'm gonna ignore the book. Instead, I am taking this blueberry, because that's more mana. A decision that can't make anyone upset. Okay, that's gonna give us plenty of armor. Give me another roll. I can fit that bag. I can, yeah, I can fit that bag. Someday I'm gonna make a customer card build. Like an actual playing card build and I will make it work. Only once have I run in to like a full card build in the arena and they obliterated me in like two seconds. So the power is there, but probably just it might be RNG, or maybe it's just, uh, it takes a little bit of brain to build, and thus I am avoiding it. Okay, we're going. Ooh, we got a Crusader build, Oh. Okay, we managed to frost them up a lot, though. Yeah, our books are cast in spells. They've got a lot of regen and empower. Ooh, this is going on. This this combat, the longer it draws on, the, the worse it's gonna be for us. Just kill them. No, we die? It was close though. Oh, frick. Wait, do I? I do gain heat. Sucky, so thank you for the hydrate. Yumbly. Let's put that up there. Do I have the bag space for that? This is on sale. I'm just gonna stick that there. No! Wait! Uh, wait! No! I didn't use my gold! Whoops! Uh, rut row! I guess I had an opportunity to stop it. <laughs> And I panicked. I tried to stop it with my mind. 
at least uh, we'll have so much gold next turn. I mean, this is calculated on purpose, because, like, this is no problem at all, and not, uh, not that I was panicking. <laughs> Look at that, 26 gold, that's what I meant to do. All the pros are doing it. I should take another amulet. Give me a roll. Oh yeah, there's um the vampire goober. Is he any good? <laughs> I would hydrate with lava right now if I could. You yeah, really, you should just try to keep me away from lava at all costs because I don't think I would have enough self-control to stop myself. Yeah, I would melt my face off, but... You know, everything in life that's worth it is a little bit of pain. And maybe I could only drink lava once, but... I don't know, maybe I should hold out for more frost items. Take another Hungry Blade. Okay, stamina use is high. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe that'll prove to be uh, useful. Potion is on sale. We can turn that into a much needed manual potion. Real name. I could fit a potion belt in here if I save my gold. Or if I sell a flame. This reminds me of a flash game I played on Newgrounds back in the day. Yeah, there's something about the art style. Like, it's just. It does remind me of games of yore, you know? Like, like this little guy, he looks like he's right out of Adventure Quest. That used to be my jam. Oh, wait. No, I didn't even need to toss that aside. I could just, like... Whoop. Blueberry right there. Perfect. Okay. Oh, yeah. I was gonna bring in the potion belt. That's why I didn't do that. Oh no. I've got this bag space. I could definitely find a way to make it work. I'd have to bring one of my... I'd have to bring my fanny packs up. Uh, let's bring these ones up top. I'll put them up here just for now. Stick that there and then we'll put these back where they were. I, re yeah, I remember exactly where they were. Wink. Wait, these books don't synergize with anything. That's frustrating. Adventure Quest was fun back into the day. It was like, I got the nostalgia goggles on that I would never want to go back to it because I know it's going to be probably one of the worst experiences ever and I just, I really, that was my jam back in the day. Like, little Chia was playing Adventure Quest, uh, fighting Zards and, uh, and casting Moglins. He gives Neopets vibes, that too, yeah. Also super nostalgic. Did anyone here ever have those Neopet toys that could speak and interact with each other? I used to have those, and my friend had some, and we'd just take them outside, and uh, we'd, we'd be sitting under trees and watching them interact. It was, it was cute. Put that there. Okay, yeah, I got the potion belt. I got no more money, so we just pop these here. Wait, sun shield procs with the garlic. I always forget. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm glad that we have that extra bit of armor there that hopefully will save us. Just have to survive two more rounds. Just two more rounds. I, uh, that's a dragon build and a half. 
but they got the lantern, which is super freaky, but I've also perhaps obliterated them? Their heat generation just killed him. Okay. They've gone invincible, that's fine. Yeah, keep going, keep going! Thankfully their heat generation wasn't too crazy or that phoenix would have just popped off, that would have been scary. <laughs> I remember the vampire werewolf from Adventure Quest, I remember too! Yeah, I, I got a membership just so that I could do that quest line. I wasn't a Neopets kid, but I did have a Tomodachi. Oh, do you mean Tamagotchi? A Tamagotchi. I have a bunch of Tamagotchis on my shelf right now. I was also a Tamagotchi kid. They got banned from my school. Everyone, um, nobody, no kid knew how to turn off the sound for it. Thus, they got banned. That's <laughs> pity. Thank you for the clip. Thought it was the coolest thing, right? It was so cool at the time. So cool. Also, we got the frost dragon here. If I... I know I bought the blueberry, and I'm glad I did. If I sold some of my flames, which I'm going to do, we can definitely pull this ice dragon into combat. I just need to... Do a little bit of reorganization. A little bit of selling. Just three flames. Three flames, that's that's fine. Oh, don't grab that. So we'll pop that down there for now. This little guy. If I've got this, we got one more proc with this. If I get this. We should probably raise it up a bit, even though the sun shield won't get a star from it. Or, I just... There we go. Just make more space. Just make more space. Perfect. Ice dragon goes there. Frostbook goes here. Mana thirst can partially go in the backpack. Hungry blade can partially go in the backpack. Sun armor can have a couple of flames around it as a treat. Um, nothing in this fanny pack. I'm sad to see it go to waste. Hmm. I might just leave it though. Remember the pizza cutter weapon you got from that side quest? The mech quest? Oh my goodness. I had a Digivice, the male version of Tamagotchi. Yeah, the Digivice was made, in fact, like literally in their marketing. The execs would tell you it was made to be the male counterpart to the Tamagotchi, but I knew a lot of, like, Tamagotchi and Digivices are genderless to me. Who doesn't want to raise a little guy, regardless of whether it's a little dinosaur or a little blob? <laughs> If I knew Digivices existed, I would have had probably a hundred of them. So thank goodness Toys R Us near me when I was a kid only really sold Tamagotchis. I get it mixed up with Tomodachi life. That's okay. <laughs> it's a really similar word. Yeah, it's fashion. It's, it's, it's just fashion. It's a fashion statement. Okay, I'm ready. Tamagotchi for men who like war and nukes and and, and guns. <laughs> to be fair, Digimon are covered in guns and blades and knives, but like ask a little Chia, I thought that was the coolest shit ever. This build I'm done for. I'm I can't compete with this. This poison build is too powerful and I have no way to cleanse it. Wow, I really am going just against the strongest opponents. But I got plus 18, so... That's good. I ended up by getting a bit more than I would have if I dipped early. <laughs> Move that 2x2 two two with the pineapple and the blueberry, not to waste the fanny pack. Or, 
Hear me out. We go against the most cracked opponent that even if I did that... <laughs> I, I was done for. I was cooked. Get them out of the arena, just for everyone's sake. Being at my room, I found my old Digimon toy. Now to find someone else to battle. Yeah, now you need to search and see if anyone nearby also has one. <laughs> yeah, they could fight. Um, I never had a Digivice. I didn't even really know they existed until I was older. But, do any of you remember there was a Mega Man similar to... Similar in concept to the Digivice with the combat. There was a Mega Man one where you could get these little chips and slot it in and battle people. And raise a little Mega Man. I didn't know how it really worked, but my brother had one and I ended up I was just like completely taking it over. I mean, Digimon had a talking poo. Yeah, Digimon did have a talking poo. And, you know, boys find poo funny. I wouldn't. I, poo? That's not... Grow up. That's so immature. I definitely don't find poo jokes funny. Good run. Yeah, it was a good run. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm 18 plus. Yeah, I talk about Tamagotchis and Digivices and Adventure Quest. <laughs> that's what 18 plus means to me. No, we don't talk about boobs here. We talk about mature things. <laughs> Super mature things like like Furbies and um what moon shoes. Those were so dangerous. That's definitely 18 plus now. Me immature stupid booby. Yeah, did you did you giggle when I said booby? Grow up. <laughs> Yeah, Mega Man Battle Network! Yes! Yes, that's what it was called. It's all coming back to me. Thank you for being my memory. Yeah, um, my brother had Mega Man Battle Network, and I ended up by taking over completely. We had so many little chips, and it was so fun. So, I may have missed out on the Digivice, but at least I had that. That sounds like something I would have loved as a kid. Yeah, yeah, probably. I just- I, rem I have very vivid memories of just sitting on the stairs going up to the upstairs because I couldn't wait to go downstairs and sit on the couch because I wanted to play it so bad. I just plop down on the stairs and I just start playing it right there in the middle of the stairs. <laughs> People would have to walk around me if they wanted to get anywhere. I was so fixated. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. Like, yeah, we talk about mature things like Neopets and the Alien Adoption Agency and free MMOs. Like, uh, you remember Enter the Matrix? Yeah, you remember that one just called I? I remember. I remember it all. I probably played every ancient MMO. <gasps> Welcome back, War. Don't mention Furbies. We programmed them with a streamer's voice. Wait, do you? I bought a broken Furby recently. It's, um, one of those... I used to have a 2005 Furby when I was younger, and they were terrifying, and when it ran out of battery, it started screaming. Anyways, I bought a broken one, and I just... I, I needed something to tinker with to keep the worms in my brain from scratching at the inside of my skull, so I started taking it apart. I pulled off its feet, and now I just need to remove its skin. But I, I'm gonna try to get it to work one way or another, and if I don't... Well, maybe... Maybe I'll turn it into a weird... Uh, I'll make it long or something. Then I need to learn how to knit. I'm not sure I want to do that. No one remembers the MMO I played because it's too old? Hit us! Try us! What was it called? I might. <laughs> like, I swear, I played every old MMO. You have Flife? I never knew how to pronounce that. The MMO that sold their MMO for millions and got it back for free. I remember that. I remember all the banner ads for that too. Do we have a Furby mascot? <laughs> really? Is, we're, we're amigos. Furbies are the mascots of my art though. Yeah, they're notorious for just screeching when their batteries die. See, as a kid, I didn't know that. So I ended up by shoving in the closet. <laughs> And then I never saw it again. I I don't know what happened to it. 
any Ragnarok online hammies out there? Um, OMG, me, me, I'm raising my hand, I'm raising my hymns. <laughs> There's so many amigos that have played it. I don't remember it very well because I never stuck really with a lot of MMOs, I just... I, I'd, I'd hop from one to another. I'd be like, one day Wizard 101, the next day RuneScape, the next day uh, Flife, the next day the, the other one that was like Flife that I keep getting it confused with. Never stuck to one thing. <laughs> Used to be obsessed with Brawl Online. Now yeah, that's one that I... I I'm not, uh, I, I, that doesn't sound familiar to me. Maybe I didn't play that one. Maybe I need to see a picture. This, my mind is old, you see, it's decrepit. Ashen Empires is a much more obscure game. I actually know that one. Oh, you have crazy. Yeah, we're crawling out of the woodworks. We're like, we were there. <laughs> Babanogi, yeah, that's the one I got confused with life all the time for some reason. I never really got into it either. I wanted to. I thought the mushrooms were so cute. It reminded me of Maple Story. Growl Online was like Zelda, a Zelda knockoff that somehow turned into an MMO. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah, that doesn't sound familiar to me, so I don't think I played that one. Fiesta as well, that's one of those ones that I confused with like Flife. Mabinogi Fiesta, those were like the same game in my little tiny pea brain. She's sitting down, all right, time to play Penya today. <laughs> yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll play something else. <laughs> you mean Terra? I guess Terra is really old now. But I, I wasn't, but I was older when that came out. What's the song name? This song name? This is... Unwavering Heart. Uh... Who, I think they're the one who made it. It's Pokey Tape 2. It's a Pokemon song. Mystery Dungeon is a good bet. Mystery Dungeon always had the banger Pokemon music. Mystery Dungeon music had me in my feelings. Oh yeah, that that's always so fun. I love experimental games. I, I the old internet is something that we're never going to like re-experience. It's been so it's so commercialized now. I'd say like uh, it was fun when everyone was just figuring things out. But you know, life goes on. Time marches forward. You have to let go, old ham. But I'm still nostalgic for the old internet. The glittery text on weird websites and forum posts. Now everything's a Discord. By the way, join the Discord. <laughs> That's my plug. Shameless plug. Yeah, speaking of forums, um, join the Discord. Asheron's Call and Ultima. Those are like the OGs. Yeah, they're there. They're. Thanks, Mullets. Thanks. We can still do that though. Yeah, there's forums out there, but now that everything's just done in Discord, it feels different. We need the Chia BBS. Wait, wait a second, wait. You're, you're tech. You're telling me I should make my own forum. That would be so funny. But then I'd have to find moderators, which sounds. It might be annoying. I don't know. My mods already do so much, I'd feel bad asking them to moderate a whole dang forum. Neopets! <laughs> Neopets. No idea where you get- maybe, maybe the amigos would just have to moderate it. They'll just like point at a chatter and be like, you. Mod for a day. Give it to me, I'll ban people if they post cringe. Yeah, great idea. Start the Chia forum. <laughs> I'll post on it like, um, oh my god, there's so many old YouTubers that used to have forums dedicated to themselves. And so many of them were just like rants made by them. 
Like, find me, catch me on the Chia BBS just ranting about video games these days. <laughs> I can't believe Dragon's Dogma is the way that it is. By the way, I've played 200 hours of it. I'm just kidding. It's not, it's not been out that long. I've maybe played 10 hours of it, including stream time. The subreddit? I do have a subreddit name um, I've been sitting on. But I was like, I don't know if we're ever going to be at that point to have a subreddit. Although, I do really like the concept of people doing videos based on, like, things that their... Their, um, their crewmates... Their chat! Their chat! Not everybody has a crew chia that their chat have posted on the reddit. Just for them to look at. <laughs> Is she a ramp BBS? Today I... <laughs> Today I uh, saw. Today I saw an advertisement for the new Dragon's Dogma, and they they said that I I could play with a 1080, but like I it won't even run on my 3070. And also I stubbed my toe. Oh, game reviews that are like this game sucks. Played 1,000 hours. I love those so much. <laughs> the the game review is just like don't play this, and they had 10,000 hours in it. I'm like, how can you not like a game after that long? That's like, the, at least the Stockholm Syndrome should kick in. Crewmate is in character though. Yeah. <laughs> I started saying crew instead of chat, and now I'm I'm calling chats other chats crews. We're all just on a bunch of pirate ships, trying to find the One Piece. How outrageous. Don't play this game. I've already played enough for the both of us. I did see a review like that, and I was like, you know what, fair enough. Sounds sus. Alright, crew. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for joining me today. My dad threw a pizza in the oven, and I have to go grab it before my brother does, because he will just take it off. No consideration. Hmm. Hmm. Sometimes I want more than two pieces. Sometimes I want three. But does anyone ask? No. I have to go claim it. Go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah, crew is great. I love it as well. I love being a pirate. This is so me. Okay, okay, okay. I'll go. I'll go grab the pizza. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to look for someone to raid. Uh, once again, check out the Discord. Check out Twitter if you want to stay up to date. Um, I'll be posting the new schedule soon. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Uh, we're going to be doing... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Stop talking and go get pizza. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold. Uh, we're going to do on Wednesday an inscrutable pet tier list. I'm putting that together. Post your pets in the Discord. There is a thread for it. You can find it in the announcements. Post your lovely pets. Um, don't give me more than three, otherwise the tier list is gonna get a little too long. But like, post your pets, and I will look at them on stream, and I'm gonna give them, um, I'm gonna give them a tier. A much cooler tier than just like, everybody being a 10 out of 10 S rank, it's gonna be a, its own unique tier. You'll see. You'll see. I'll see you Wednesday for that, and I'll see you tomorrow for Voices of the Void. Goodbye! I'm going, I'm running, I'm going, I'm leaving, goodbye! Yeah, also we know every pet's a 10 out of 10. I don't need a streamer to tell me that. But do we know if a pet is a scrimblo or a gloopy? That's what I'm gonna be there to tell you. Okay, I'm gone. Nobody leave or join the raid. We are at 69. Captain's orders. <laughs> <laughs>